And we're live. Hi, friends. Hello, hello. Welcome Hi, to friends. Wednesday. I can actually say it's Wednesday today. I always do that when yet on Tuesdays. I say, welcome to Wednesday. No, <laughs> welcome to Wednesday. Um, really happy cute. sale day, Tiger. This is, if you don't know, this is Tiger's Timeless Treasures. Tiger is always so helpful in the chat. He is just always there to put the bid ends in. And so I asked him if he wanted to do a sale with me and he graciously accepted. So make sure that you guys show Tiger some love and go over to his YouTube channel and subscribe. You can also follow him on Instagram. I have his, um, all of his information in the description down below, as well as his email address. The sale will work like it always does. Everything will be an offer up. Um, and, um, Emma, I don't know if you're there, Emma, Emma is upstairs. So she is not in the room with us. So she's experiencing, experiencing the same lag as everybody else is. So Emma will be doing the bid end. I'll may, I'll pop her up on the screen. Hey, Daniel. I see a lot of our friends. I see Virginia. Hello. I saw Randy girl and Claudia. Oh, Claudia. I, I, I like your shirt too, Tiger. It's very kitschy and fun. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and Sue, <laughs> Daniel, Kathy Scaletta, Sandy and Otto, Kim. Oh my gosh. This is so fun. Deanna, Jan, Judy, Joe, all kinds of friends here. Let me see if I saw Emma. Where is she at? Just so you guys can see. Where is she at? Where are you at, Emma? There she is. Oh, there she is. Okay. So there is Emma. Emma is my daughter, and she will be the official bid ender. So when you see Emma, type in bid end, and the bidding is ending. Um, we will be doing a just in case. And Tiger, I'll be helping you with that a little bit if you because it does can get a little confusing. So basically, the just in case is you put your you put your your bid and your offer in during the countdown only, um, and um, it's typically in good um, grace or good manners, I guess that's not the right word. If to do a just in case, if you have already been actively bidding, that's just a good thing but it isn't set in stone. So, because sometimes people will just jump in before, you know, they've just hopped in. So I can't police that. So it's just in good graces or good, a good gesture to be an active bidder before you are doing a just in case. Okay. Are we ready? Are we ready, Tiger? We're ready. This is epic, Virginia. I agree. This is epic. All right. I'm going to make Tiger big. And Tiger will go first. I will go first. Let's do yes. it. Of course, now I don't know what I want to do first. I have so much stuff. <laughs> but let's start with one of my favorite items. This is a totally cool Viking bowl. Look at that. I've seen it listed as a center bowl. I've seen, it is amber colored. And it's still got the original sticker. Wow. It says, what do you, whoops. What do you want to start quality. that at, Tiger? Oh, yes. What do I want? I want to start this at $10. Okay. Starting with $10. It says handmade quality. And it is, yeah, it's very mid century modern. I love the way it's worked. I'm trying to hold this white thing up so we can see it better. It's, wow. uh, <laughs> I'm still getting used to. Streamyard being the other way around. I know it does. It takes a while. G <laughs> is at twenty. I could see that you putting that on your coffee table or on your centerpiece and putting like little pumpkins and stuff in it for fall. Yeah. Hi, Carrie. It is very shiny, and I do have not found anything wrong with it. It is oh, very it's clean. Great. It is very uh, uh, no chips, no cracks. Like I said, it still has the original stack sticker on it. Yeah, Tiger is shipping from Arizona. I'm sorry, I should have oh, said Oh, sorry that. about that. Yeah, Tiger is shipping from first. Arizona. I'm shipping from Indiana. <laughs> so Lovely. anyone who... G Gia is at 20. Yep. Hi, Warren. Hi, Tammy. Hi, gang. Um, 
<laughs> it's so hard because you want to say hi to so this is what i always say like when i go into a live chat and everyone's hi misty hi misty hi misty i just like hello everyone because like when i when you walk into a room you just say hey guys so hello everyone but it's hard because you do want to say hi to everybody yeah unless you're playing with venture she has it down she greets yeah. everybody anyways let's get let's get over with and let's start the countdown start it at 15. all right 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. Bid end. We wait on the bid end. Gia is at 20. Okay, yes, Gia, we are doing just in cases. Gia has a just in case of 29. But you're still the high bid, Gia, so you're still good at 20. But I see you're just in case. There is the bid end. So, Gia, okay. um, I'm going to put that back up. Well, Gia, I'll do, Gia, Gia got it for 20. I'll let you see that. Thank so you very much, it. Gia. Good get, Gia. Hey, Beth. Oh, wait. Let me switch over. And I am going to start with this little guy. This is a Lehman. Well, it says Lehman patent. It's made in Western Germany. <laughs> and it is this little, but well, you can't really see it. Butterfly 10 friction toy. So you roll it and he, he just rolls right along. It is metal. We're starting him at $8. You see his little eyes. Now he is missing his antenna, but you could put a little wire in there if you wanted to. But yeah, he is made in Western Germany. Ooh, there we go. Western Germany. I just really, I like litho and tin toys. So I see you Lynn at 10. I just really liked him. He's just cute to sit on your shelf. You could actually... Um, place him up like that as well. Or you could even hang him. He does have little holes right there in his wings. So you could put a little string through there and hang him up if you wanted to as well. But just a fun little Western Germany uh, tin toy. It is a friction. It does work. I can't really show you because he'll be wheeling across the board if I put him up. All right. So I'm seeing Lynn at 10. I'm going to go ahead and start counting this down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. I see you, Lynn, at 13. Southern Buckeye is at 14. And okay, so I see I see Lynn right after the bid in. So I'm I just want if Emma, if you could double check that. But right now I'm seeing Southern Buckeye at 14, unless Lynn got it right before the bid end. Thank you so much. Emma's going to double check for me. And we will go to Tiger. Yes, my next item is this totally cool Blanco Amberina creamer, starting it at $5. Oh, that's cool. Oh, see, I'm already, I'm already failing. Start bids. That's uh, $5. I that's love cool. that. Do try you know does it glow? Pesky whiteboard. I can try that here in a Ooh, second. Yeah. See the Gia, colors. It's got the yellowish on the <laughs> on the bottom and the reddish on the top. And happy is at five. Does it glow, Tiger? Does yeah. it have cadmium in it? I'll check that here in a second. Mm -hmm. I just want to show the shape of it, which is really let's see. I love that. It's really hard to tell, but it seems to be glowing a little bit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Probably the handle. But, uh, it's really hard to tell with the with the light. I cannot turn off the light since I, I'm in the living room and I don't have any uh, 
Yeah, it now seems that, to be glowing. That is, that is actual Amberina. It is not flash. I can see the Pontel mark there on the bottom. It's beautiful. Yes. Yeah, sorry about that, but with the light in here, it's really hard to make it. Hey, just make it look up here. There's a Ponto mark there. Yep. That's really pretty. Putting putting some like bittersweet in there in the fall. Kathy is at 12. Yeah, nowadays I don't I don't ever use creamers for cream. I just put stuff in it that I can I can, you know, I I want to grab, even if it's a pen. I'm not big on flowers, but I can put my pens in there, yeah. you know, or a flashlight. Look, Scissors, it works. Makeup brushes, Perfect. you could put, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. It's just, these are just too pretty not to pick up when you find them. They are, I agree. Marcy is at 15. I especially like the, like the shape. The I way the handle is shaped, and then on top here with all the whatever it's called, little fanned out. Yeah, and that's great for Kim is at 16. It's great for Halloween, it's great for Christmas, it's great for Valentine's Day. You could do a lot of things with that. Donna says, I'm finally putting a, a, a face <laughs> in the game. Well, hey, Donna, I have a YouTube you channel. Subscribe, go subscribe to Tiger's YouTube channel. He does great videos and he's a lot of fun. And I'm going to be having more sales on my channel, too. Probably not live sales yet, but sales. Yes. All right. Well, anyway, let's start, start the countdown. All right. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one bid and tiger is shipping from arizona okay kim has a, a just in case of 20. sorry about that i keep keep forgetting to mention that there's the bid in so kim you get it for 16. yay very much thank you very much kim there's a bid and all right my next item well, let's just do this little. I think that this this appears to me to be a little McCoy elephant planter in this really pretty celadon green. It's in excellent condition. I'm starting the bids at twelve dollars. It, it he is in such good condition. He does have his trunk up. You can put your little flower arrangements. in there well that doesn't look too good but you know what i mean you could put a bottle brush tree in him he could be a christmas elephant all right i see you karen at 12 but it's this beautiful celadon green that we all love he's got a cute little face on him his trunk is up he is in excellent condition he has a lovely feel to him I see Karen at 12. Toothbrushes, that's a good idea, Virginia. Yeah, you could put toothbrushes in here. That's a great, or Q-tips, that's a great idea. I'm gonna go ahead and start counting him down. We're at $12, uh, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. It's a cute little elephant just to tuck in with your displays and waiting for the bid end. All right. I see a just in case of 20. All right. So Catworm had a just in case of 15. Karen had a just in case of 20. So Karen, you get it for $16. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, my next items is this set of totally cool mid-century modern plates. Ooh, or like maybe you can call them bowls. They're a little deeper. They are starting at $6 for the set. And you know, they are made in America. They are trade wins. And they do have some crazing. And I do believe 
that there's like a little bit of a crack on one on the outside, but I cannot see anything on the inside. So it could just be crazy. It's hard to tell. Now, I personally would display those, you know, put them in one of those plate stands. Yeah. And that's what I like to have two because you can frame something with them or you can have them on each side. Absolutely. I would not have to actually use them in the kitchen because they're way too nice for that. Are they orange and gr orange and black? No, they are. It looks more like a beige type color and brown, okay. a dark brown on a blue background. They're really pretty. Whoops, and I got this one backwards, <laughs> upside I like down. The shape of them too, how they're kind of scalloped. Yes, they are exactly, and they are just. I yeah. mean, the, the the whole design it's so unique. I I have not found one of those before. They are really hard to find. Yeah, Virginia said so. serving bowls, mashed taters, green beans. There you go. Yeah. Yay. No one. Any takers? Kathy is at six dollars. You get both six. of them. Both of them for six dollars right now. Okay. Now Kim is at seven. You get the set. Unless I drop one on Killer first. You're at eight. <laughs> there we go. They look lustry? shiny. They look a little bit lustery. Yeah. Yep. They're shiny, and again, they're made in the USA. There's the. Whoops. Is that legible? Yes. It's trade winds by continental kilns. They're hand painted, so they are definitely the uh, the good old American made. Yeah. Well, let's I'm go ahead and pump it down. Mayra is at eight dollars right now. That's for the pair. That's for the pair. You get two. Two for one money. Right. <laughs> 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Kathy's 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We end. Okay, Precious Lavender Buttons is at $10. Mayra is at 11 are we going to have a bidding war? Oh, Precious Lavender Buttons is at 13 as a just-in-case. There's the bid in. So, Precious Lavender Buttons, you get them for 13 Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And that's my email, tigers.timeless.treasures at gmail.com. Yep, and the Tigers email is in the description down below, too, so you can see that after... The video goes up. You can um, just copy and paste that and send him your information and make sure that you send me your information as well. All right. My next item are these cute. Oh, they're so cute. These are Siamese cats. They're salt and pepper shakers. They have these beautiful blue rhinestone eyes. They're mesmerizing. I am starting the bids at $14. They do have their stoppers. They're made in Japan. There are no chips, blemishes on them anywhere. They are beautiful. These rhinestone blue eyes. All right, I see Kim is at 20. So fun. There's no chips on their ears. They do have their original stoppers. They're airbrushed so nicely. And the... The glaze is over the paint. Okay, I sell. I see El Unico is at twenty-two. Oh, I misspoke. Joanne got those for twelve. I'm sorry. Yes, Tiger. I'm sorry. I misspoke. Joanne got those for twelve and not thirteen. She had her just in case of thirteen. All right. El Unico is at 22. All right. I'm going to start counting these down, guys. Uh, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Hi, Yvonne. 
bid end waiting on a bid of 23 or more all right i see kim at 26 as a just in case and there's the bid end so kim rogers you get them for 23 dollars. thank you so much and and my next item is this totally cool mid-century modern leaf tray now i'm starting this at eight dollars, it is made oh, in USA. Yeah. It is the, I don't know, is that the California one? It's it is beautiful. It it, it looks like California pottery. Yeah, it does. It's not um, even ashtray. It's a beautiful piece you can use for either, you know, for food, which I probably wouldn't. Again, I don't use these nice things for food, but that's me. You can use them on your, you know side table you can use them again for pens your glasses you know your dentures whatever you want to put on there i think it, that they're they're lovely to use like again i keep going back to my your little pumpkins in there or um cheese you can always use it to serve cheese and crackers that's a go-to for me as well and it's just under 12 inches total length it's lovely it's I like the stem, piece. how the stem curls around, and it also serves as the handle. And I like it. It's in such good shape. There is no yeah. cracks, no, no, I don't even see any crazing on there or nothing. It's really nice. I've seen a lot of these recently that all had cracks in them or were, mm -hmm. or were, 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 you know, were glued back together or something. That's lovely. Chip, but this one is a real nice one. I really like this piece. Of course, I can't keep everything I like, but I figure it's easier for me to share it with you because I hate to come on here and say, oh, oh, look at this ugly thing. I just want to get rid of it. You take it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Well, you, you buy the things that you like. You kind of buy the things that you're that you're visually drawn to, I think, anyway. Um, exactly. I, that that is nice too because you can set that up on a on a plate rack as well and 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 display mm -hmm. it, you know, and put your yeah. little fun fall things in front of it as well. Yes, definitely. So we're coming up on fall, guys. This it's is coming. it. <laughs> Let's start fall. Let's start the countdown. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bid end. Bid like you mean it. That's right, Yvonne. Precious lavender buttons is at seventeen. I've heard. I've seen a couple people say that you should do your countdown in German. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> then we'll, we'll be like, wait a minute. Wait, I'm gonna have complaints. Oh, you hear me? <laughs> there's the bid in so precious lavender buttons you get it for 17 thank you again joanne appreciate it all right my next item is going to be where did i write it down at you know i always say i'm gonna follow my list in the order that i wrote it down well that isn't happening um there it is all right now i cannot tell you I don't think that this is vintage. Okay. I will say that. I think it is a modern piece. Um, I'm going to start the bids at $12 for this. It is this little green. Well, it's looking yellow, but it, it is green, but it is uranium glass. And it, let me back away from the light, back away from the light. It, it glows like something else. You're not going to be able to see, but it does glow. It glows like the Dickens, like I like to say. Let me use this smaller one. Maybe that will help. Does that help at all? It glows like the Dickens, but it is a cute little, oh, I just lost my bid. There we go. Um, glass. It is glass. Uranium glass, little bird. Boy. I wish you could see how well it glows, but it glows a lot. It glows. It has a very high glow to it. Um, I, like I said, I don't know. I don't think it's very vintage. I've lost count of where we're at now, 
Gia is at 35. Okay, so Gia is at 35. Um, time for treasure is at 40. I wish you could see it, but it just, I mean, you can see it lit up. That's about how much it glows, honestly. Okay, you can see it. Good, Julia. I was like, it's not appearing that you can see how much it glows, but it would light up a room. It glows so much. All right, I am seeing Pam is at 45. Randy is at 47. Okay, thank you guys for telling me that you can see it. It's appearing very yellow, like a Vaseline glass, but it is green. It's a green glass bird. I'm going to start counting it down. We are at $50. So uh, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one, bid end. Bid end. So Zenzord is at 55. It is very textured. It has a, um, you know, a sanded down bottom. All right. And I see a bid end or I see a just in case. Okay. There's the bid end. So Randy had a just in case of 63. So Randy girl, you get it for $56. Thank you so much. Where did I write it down at? There it is. Randy, you get it for 56. Thank you, girl. And my next item is this totally cool poodle planter. <gasps> oh, it's it oh. gray with a little pink pom pom. It's got a dingleberry. Yes, it's got a dingleberry. <laughs> I do not know where it comes from. It's not marked. It doesn't. That's have a Royal sticker. Copley. But it's oh, thank you. Yeah, I don't know these things too well. That's She's just a beautiful. good one, Tiger. She is beautiful, and I don't see too many gray ones out there. No. Usually they're brown or black or sometimes white. And she is. I don't have not found any blemishes on her. She She's looks so to me. Uh, in look at her little excellent. claws in the front. She's sitting so pretty. Yep. And I I don't feel anything. Doesn't no cracks, no chips. What did you want to start? And, oh yeah, right. Starting bid. Let's start her at five dollars. Wow. Five dollars for this poodle. Oh, I love it. <laughs> now see that is a nice poodle. You could put your remotes in there. Yes. That's a remote holder. That's definitely enough room for them. Absolutely. And she is just so dainty. She is like makeup palettes. Oh, I'm sorry. Kim was first at 15. Makeup palettes would fit good in there. Kathy is at 17. That is Royal Copley. Cool. That is a Royal Copley Puda planter. Well, thank you for letting me know. I did not recognize it. I'm not not that great at these things. <laughs> is, is his little color, is it pink? The color is pink oh. and the pom pom is pink. The pom pom looks to be glued on. So yeah. it's it's glued on there. So if you want to take it off, I don't know if it came with it originally, <laughs> but it's just cute. It works. Oh, it is. I love it. Look at its little face. And it's just sitting so pretty. With its little paws sitting pretty. Actually, yeah, I just noticed there's some tape on here. So they did tape the pom pom. Oh, so well, the pom pom is removable. Cool. So yeah. if you don't like the pom-pom, you can take it off. But I think it fits her. I do, too. Hi, Kitchy Cat. What are we doing? You're at $20. Randy Girl's at $20. Let's go ahead and start the countdown. Sounds good. Schnuda, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Sechs, fünf, vier, drei, zwei, eins. Und Schluss. Bitte. Oh, man. I can, I, can count, I can count to 10 going forward in German, but I don't think I can in backwards. It was at 25. <laughs> okay, Kim is at 32. There's the bid in. Kim. <laughs> Carrie said, oh, hell, Tiger's swearing at us. <laughs> Kim got it at 32. Thank you very much, Kim. 
<laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you cracked me up. Okay, my next item is or are these things, and you will get all of these things in this lot. Um, all right, you get one, two, three, four, five, six things in this lot. So I'll start with I'll start from the biggest to the smallest. This is a spiral bound. Oh, you know what? Hang on. Start bids at. Okay. I'm starting the bids at $12. So I, you have the spiral bound all occasion address book. It's never been used and it's all divided, you know, with the alphabet here. And I don't think. Yeah, it tells you the flowers and the birthstones, but it's never been used. And then you get this. This is ROP's Business Calculator, Compliments of First National Bank. Here is this little booklet. It's paperback. It has a little bit of damage on the cover, but it is, oh, it's got, it's just full of numbers. It's full of numbers, interest tables, uh, Table throwing the weight of grain seeds into bushels and odd pounds. It's got numbers in it. Okay. And then this I thought was really cool. I liked the, the cover on it. And it's a hardback. It's the Centennial Souvenir of Philadelphia from 1876. And then you open it up and it's got all these postcards from Philadelphia at the uh the centennial souvenir 1876 which i think is pretty cool has all of these old buildings in here i just oh, i'm throwing it around i just like it like that i love this scroll work on the binding so there's that oh i see you michelle i see you michelle at 12 and then we have this little booklet here this is oh, i love this so much okay it's just like a little ledger. It's a small little miniature ledger. And then it says Mamaw or Ernie Duncan, May 1944. Mamaw. Up here. And that's the only thing that's written in it. So it's a little hardback ledger. And then this one is Gosh, oh my goodness. The Armstrong Land Company and Plumbing. It's just another ledger. Or no, it's a um, from 1933. Now this one has been chewed on. Some little critter, probably a squirrel. <sighs> Michelle, a squirrel got a hold of that one. Now this one is my favorite. And it is the How, it, how Is It Spelt? book. So this is a leather bound paperback book. It's made in England. It has a little snap and on the inside it's how to spell all these. Now if you can see it, I mean you, I can't hardly tell how to read any of it, but it's dictionary in the midget series. And this is dated I thought I had seen it, but maybe I didn't. Um, it was printed in Belgium. I don't know, but you get that. All right. Pam is at 13. So you get all six pieces in this lot, the leather bound, how it's spelt, this little, um, hardback calendar, this ledger, the uh, centennial souvenir, 1876 of Philadelphia, the book with all the numbers in it, and the all-occasion address book. Michelle is at $15. This would be good, though, to this little address book here to keep your passwords in. You know what I'm talking about? If you're like me, you can't ever remember what your passwords are. Birthdays, anniversaries, but it's never been used. All right, Janet, or Pam is at 17. I'm going to start counting these down. 15, 14, 13, 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. The ephemera lot. 
I see time for treasure has a okay. Jana had a just in case of 24, but time of time for treasure has a just in case of 30. Just waiting on the bid in. Uh, but Zen Zenzord gets it for $31. Zenzord, you got in there just at the right moment. Where'd my pen go? So Zenzord, you get it for 31. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. All right. Okay, and my next lot is actually a choice. A choice lot starting at $5. I have a set of three 1942 Foreign Service magazines. These are January, February, and March. Oh, so I love that flag one. Whoever wins this bid, uh, gets this, uh, the first person who gets this gets the choice of which one they want or if they want more than one. Now, these are in excellent shape. They are not oh, yellowed. Great. They are not ripped. There is nothing. And these are originally from 1942 in the middle of World War II. So all the oh, news I in love there, that. there, there's one, there's January. This is the February. Wow, oh, those are so graphics. good, Tiger. Aren't these graphics just oh, awesome? I love them. I love there's, graphics from the 1940s so there's much. News, there's stories. I'm trying to be careful to not mess them up while I'm showing them. I and agree, Katie. Up. So perfect for a 4th of July display or Memorial Day. Yeah. Veterans yeah. Day. And I mean, the shape is just excellent. <laughs> Katie said, note to self, Arizona has good thrifted stuff. <laughs> well, yeah, we have some good stuff. It depends. The, hard, the, the fairy lands are hard, hard to find. But I have found three so far, and one of them is in the sale later on. Ooh. So, yeah, either one of these magazines, we're at $15. $15. Kara, thank you very much for your bid. I'm going to go ahead and start the countdown. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Look at that, Ed. Oh, I love it. Three, two, one. 2, 1. Good end. Hey, Shannon. All right, so this is choice, choice. Southern Buckeye is at 16. Those are really good. Norma Jacob is at 17. There's the bid end. So, Norma, you get your choice. Flag. Um, this is January. The flag is January. The other one is February. The other drawing and the photograph is march 1942 march okay, so norma said she wants the one with the flag on it cool so then the backup would be southern buckeye southern buckeye do you want uh february or march hmm. for fifth for 16 dollars hi gabby Which one would you like? Or did you so, want the one on the flag too? Okay, so Southern Buckeye wants February. February, that would be this one. So then I think... Um, we had... Kara, Kara, do you want Kara? the last one for, 15, for uh, 16? I'm I'm sorry. There it's it's seventeen, Tiger. There are seventeen each. Okay. So Kara just waiting to see if you want the last one for seventeen. Okay, yes. Yeah, so Kara wants the wants uh March. Perfect. Thank you very much. Yay! All See, three of you. So, Thank that you. wasn't so hard. <laughs> Irene says her parents were married in December of of 19th 40 something maybe <laughs> all right okay so my next thing 
I think is quite charming and I love it so much. Some of you may be, it may scare the bejesus out of you, but I love it. 1942. I didn't put start bids at. All right. I love him. He is not scary at all. He is monkey man. Now I'm starting the bids at $10. He is part monkey, part bear. He doesn't have any ears, but we don't hold that against him. He can't, he can't hear the world around him, but he knows. He knows what's up. I love him. I love that he's flat, that he's just been cuddled. He does have um, sawdust inside. Uh, he He's just odd and just weird. So I'm starting him at... <laughs> I know. I wanted to see some of the comments too. I know. Lucy Fan Pelt. Look, he knows what's up. <laughs> He's got googly eyes. I love him. So he's starting at $10. So if anybody wants him at $10, and quite honestly, if nobody buys him, I'm going to take him home. But I thought maybe you weirdos, my other fellow weirdos out in the world, may want him in their house. I love him. He does not come to life at night. Look at how cute he is. He's just so loved. His face is um, like a linen. And he is all hand stitched. See? The Withering Cottage knows what's up. So does... It. No, The Withering Cottage is at 13. It's his eyebrows. Yeah. He knows what's up those googly eyes. I love him. He he doesn't smell. He's great. I love him. Look at his back. He's like he's a bear body with a monkey head. I think that maybe he had ears at one time and they have been cut off. See, he's got little ear slots. <laughs> it's call, it's clouding my mind. I don't have my bandana on today. Yeah, his eyebrows are on fleek. All right, Shannon is was at 15. So I'm going to start counting down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beep, beep. Look at his nose. Good end. <laughs> Scott says he's peeking through one eye until this is over. Randy, he's so sweet. He has silver ears. There's the bid end. <laughs> oh, wait. Lucy Van Pelt had a just in case of 20. So, Lucy, you get him for $15, $16. Thank you so much. He's going to a good home. Thank you so much. Get in. And there we go. And my next item is this totally cool Phantom Fustoria juicer, Ooh. which glows like it's life, life dependent on it. Lovely. I don't know <laughs> if it's really visible. It's hard to see. You can tell that it yeah. does glow. Like you can see like the, the 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 iridescence coming off of the top of it. Starting this at ten dollars. All right. Ten dollars starting bid. It's a totally cool piece. It is in excellent shape. Again, I have not found any chips or cracks. <laughs> it's perfect for your morning morning orange juice. And then if you feel really nice and good and Someone along the day goes, oh, you're glowing today. And you're like, yeah, I know why. I had my orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> From, my <uranium> juicer. <laughs> From my uranium juicer. From my uranium juicer. $10 starting. Gabby's at 15 Perfect. For the glowy, glowy piece. I know we like our glowy pieces. It's... Very nice for display. It's very nice for the people who like green. And you can use it for, you know, jewelry or something. You can put your earrings or something inside or bracelets over the top of it or necklaces. 
there are so many so many uses for these things. Gabby's at 25. Well, thank you very much for your bids. No, Emma, I'm not sending any sage with Monkey Man. Monkey Man is perfectly fine. Uh, <laughs> good boy. You're a good boy. Uh, no chips, chips, no cracks that right. I'm aware of, no. It feels, it feels in excellent shape. I can hear Emma's cat just running back and forth upstairs. Let's start the countdown. All right. 15, 14, <laughs> 13, 12, he does 11, that. 10, Time 9, 27, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one bid and Gabby's at 30. Send holy water. I do have holy water in my bathroom on my <laughs> shelf. On the shelf. <laughs> Gary said thanks for calling it a juicer and not a reamer. <laughs> There's the bid in. So Gabby gets it for 30. Thank you very much, Gabby. Appreciate it. All right, my next item is an inspirational item, and it is an inspirational item after a cool chick that I know um, that does these. And I, 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 I ordered this transfer and I made this for myself, but then I was like, you don't need this, Misty, so I'm going to sell it. And my girl, Sarah, from the Traveling Button. Oh, Misty, and I left the sticker on the bottom of it. When will I learn? I won't. I'm not just not, not going to show you the back of it. But it is this beautiful ru pink ruffled plate with the sweet little um, skunk transfer on it. Now, I had this in a plate rack sitting up so where you can use it as a display. This has not been like, do not put this in the dishwasher. I have not put anything over this. You can, you know, get some, uh, something to put over. I have not done it because I honestly was just going to use this as a display piece in my stuff. Um, I'm starting it at $14. Um, but this is inspiration from my girl, Sarah, the traveling button. She makes these a lot. I've actually got one of her witches and a couple of, but I found this one plate, just this one plate. And I thought I'm going to get a transfer for it. But then I just decided I didn't need it, but this is not a vintage transfer. It is a modern transfer. I see you Shannon at 25. I just think that it's really cute. And it just, you can put it in your, in the back of your display. Again, do, don't use it to eat on. It is not sealed. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start counting this down. Shannon is at 25, uh, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, crinoline. Yes, that's right. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. Hi, Christy. Christy's hopping on. I see you. Shannon is at 25 for the skunk plate. And there is the bid end. Thank you so much, Shannon. It'll go well with all your other crit critters. Okay. Hi, Christy. Thank you for popping in. I've got this totally cool. Tonala vase. This wow. is falling at $15. It is a little bit on a longer side. It's not very heavy. It's a little bit on the longer side. And I do ship from Arizona. Keep that in mind, please. So it's roughly 10 inches. Roughly 10 inches long. It is an excellent shape. I have not found anything wrong with it. Is it signed anywhere? No, I well, it's signed, yes, right there. It's signed, thank you. Okay, so that is legit Tanala. Tanala. Yes, it is. Yeah, because we 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 tend to call everything Tanala, but not everything is made in Tanala, Mexico. Exactly. 
I think and that's a, lovely with dried flowers in it. That would be beautiful. And I'm trying to see the inside. It's kind of kind of hard to see. Of course, I don't have a an actual flashlight, but and no, it does not glow. But <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see. But yeah, it looks like it's in really nice shape. Um, I thought I saw them. Well, there's some crazing, of course, but you know, it's. It just actually I like crazing. It shows to me that it has experience. Yep. And it does have a tiny little spot here that feels like it. Whoops. Where is it now? Can't even see it. It's probably I don't just know a flaw it, in the gray. In the in the yeah, gray. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Just a flaw. I don't think it's a chip. But it's just a beautiful piece. I mean, the painting on it. The colors, the shiny. It is just a beautiful piece. So all you Tonala fans out there. Mer Mia is at 34. And everyone's thank talking you. about how much of a natural you are, Tiger. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, I'm doing my best. <laughs> so, yeah, let's start the countdown. 15, 14. 12. No, 13. No, 12. <laughs> 11. It's hard. 10. Well, I'm waiting for you to mess up. And in the meantime, I'm messing up to give you a head start. It will happen. <laughs> it will happen. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. Mia is at 34. We need a bid of 35 or higher, waiting on the bid end. Everyone say you're doing tiger, you're doing fantastic, Tiger. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Appreciate There's it. There's the bid end. There is the bid end. So Mia Caruso, you get that beautiful vase for $34. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Mia. Appreciate it. All right. Well, my next item is also a, a Mexican pottery piece. It is signed. It is not signed to Nala, though. I honestly cannot read. It says Mexico, but I can't read the bottom of it. I'll show it to you. But it is this Mexican pottery cat. And if my camera would focus, you would. There we go. You'd be able to see it a lot better. But here it is like a, doing the Halloween cat stretch. And it has greens and black and blues. And there's his little face. It is marked. Make sure I'm showing it to you right side up. Focus. Focus. Okay, let's do it this way. Oh, my goodness. It is signed to Mexico, but I can't read where but it is signed mexico i'm sorry michelle's at 14 i didn't even give us we'll start it at 14 michelle is at 14 and it is kind of a like a sand pottery it isn't um a really flat pottery it has some texture to it but it is a stretching cat very different style and shape it is i see you sherry at 20 Boy, I wish my camera would focus a little bit better. So you could maybe be help me read. It, it's just, it's marked Mexico, but like right here, it's kind of faded. So I can't really make it out. All right. Sherry G is at 20. Downward cat. It's Ewing Yoga. It's a yoga cat. Downward facing cat. Ruthie is at 30. I'm going to go ahead and start counting him down. I have another Tanala cat. Maybe I'll do it next. And it is bitty. It's a bitty one. All right. Um, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. Ruthie is at 30. There's his booty and his face. Sherry G is at 35. I think it's just gas. 
<laughs> There's the bid in. All right. I see you, Sherry G435. Thank you so much. And my next item is another plate. Oh. This is starting at $5. $5 starting. It looks like it could be a totally fine Mexican plate, correct? Well, it it's not. Like it. it is not. It is made in the USSR. Oh, the lovely. Which dates it, of course, pre-1990. There is just a little bit of a dark mark up there, which I think is just dirt. I can try and clean that up before I send it out. But it is just a beautiful design. Oh, it's I love that. obviously not looking like the Mexican designs, and it's not supposed to. But you can mix it with the Mexican plates. You absolutely it'll, could. It'll go style-wise. But just the fact that it was made in the USSR, it's, it's really cool. In fact, when I checked out, when I bought this, the poor kid at the register, he was in the early 20s, he looked like. Really nice kid. He was like, he was amazed that they had stickers back in the USSR because he thought that was like in the 1940s. Uh, really? He had a clue that the USSR existed until 1990. He thought that was like a World War II thing. Wow. <laughs> oh, were stickers back in the 40s? <laughs> that was funny. That was a funny conversation. I educated this poor kid about the history of <laughs> a little bit of the history. A little bit of it. As much as I oh, could wow. while checking out. But no, and it seems to be in excellent shape. I do not feel any cracks or anything. And the paint, the dots are a little bit painted into each other, but that's the way it was made. And that's the part I like about it, too. It does not look like so so uh, perfect because it's not machine made, it's handmade. Right. Yeah. And again, it has the sticker. That's great. Sticker is still on there, and it's got a little hangy thing, so you can hang it on the wall. I love that. And that you're right. I mean, that's like that could be very, very bohemian, very like southwestern. It's so fall too. I love the colors that brown and that green. It's beautiful. No, it's not purple. It's green. Mm -hmm. It's green with some brown and black. I love I'm gonna that. go ahead and start the countdown. Okay. Fifteen. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Is it a plate oh, or a bowl? bowl? It's a plate. 3, 2, 1. Good end. I think it's beautiful. I always, when I find globes too, I always look for USSR, help state them a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they made beautiful there's, things. There's the bid in. So the impish, impish artist gets it for 16. Beautiful. Impish artist. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. It's nice to meet you, impish artist. I do not remember having yes. met you before. Make sure that you send your information so he can get your invoice sent out to you. His email is in the description. Vintage and Vino said, or Vintage and Vino, Vintage and Vino <laughs> said, if it was purple, you probably would have kept it. I would. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So my next item. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I missed something. I missed something. Ruthie. Oops. Someone said Ruthie had a bid of 19. There's Ruthie has 15. Oh, yeah, there it is. Do you see it? Uh, Impish Artist was, well, Impish Artist. Yeah, there it is. It's right before, no, three, four lines before bid end, a few lines. I am right not after seeing it. Kitchy Corners asking about plate or bowl. Yeah, I don't see it. But. Emma, what do you see? Okay, I didn't win. Ruthie won. Okay, thank you, Impish, Impish Artist. Sorry about that. I don't Sorry see to it. You. Okay. I see that's... it on my phone. Yeah, I see it on my Sorry. phone. I probably should have my phone up, too. That's a good idea. Between. Yeah. Between Kitchy Corner and Oh My Vintage saying hi. Okay. Well, now. Sorry I can... about that. Let me stand up. 
All right. We're just going to leave that up. All right. All right. You, Ruthie won. Okay. Well, congratulations, Ruthie. Ruthie won it at $19. Thank you very much, Ruthie. Okay. My next item is also a piece of Mexican pottery. It's not marked Tonalo. It is just marked Mexico, but it is this teeny weeny little cat. It is an inch and a half tall. So it's just little bitty. Look at his little hair on his head. I'm starting the bids at $12 on this little fella. You can see all the way around he's painted. And on this side right here, well, on the front, it is marked Mexico. Mexico. There we go. Cute little teeny, teeny, tiny little Mexican pottery piece. It just nestles in with all the rest of your big, your big cats and your big birds and fishes. I think next week I'm selling a big fish. All right. I see Randy is at 15. It is a teeny nuggy. And it's kind of weird because he's, this is like the front of his body, but he's sitting with his head kind of tilted to the side. So there's the front of his body, but he's looking to the side. All right, I see you, Randy, at 22. I'm going to start counting him down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I see you, Becky, at 23. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Yeah, he's just a little fella. A little nuggy cat. All right, Randy has a just in case of 31. And there is the bid in. So, Randy, you get him for 24. 24 goes to Randy. Thank you so much. And my next item, I did bring purple, as I said I would, is this. Very nice lady doll. So I'm starting her at $10. And she is, right here is the, made in England. She oh, is Worcester. I don't know, is it visible? Yes. She is, um, oh, did I have it upside down? <laughs> she is Worcester. And she's called Sweet Anne. 3630. No, I've seen her online going for hefty money. I have seen the cheapest one I saw was 65, but that was someone asking, the asking bid, not a sold bid. And she's she Royal, does, um, Royal Worcester, Worcester. Worcester. Yes, Royal Worcester. And she does have a little bit of a chip right there, which I can actually not see, but I can feel it. And if you look at the, you know, all the, all the, the paint is still there. So the chip is just on the back of her sleeve there. And then there was a little spot here, but that someone fixed, it looks like, that I can feel. But other than that, she is in excellent shape. She's pretty. And she is made in England, and like I said, they and she does have a purple dress. I've seen another one with a green dress. And I've can seen you do a different... little bit of a close-up of her face? Of course. See her sweet little face. Go ahead. See this. See oh this yeah, that door. helps. Oh yeah, she's got some side eye. Does she have a fan <laughs> in her in her hands and her necklace? Yes. The necklace, and she got a flower hair. in her hair, and she's got her hair back there. I mean, she is in really good shape. Other than that chip and that little spot on her dress that I found. I did not find anything. Oh, she's pretty. And those, apparently those, I have known nothing about these type of things. I I just picked her up because she was pretty and she had a purple dress on. <laughs> she's like purple. <laughs> but yeah, I've seen her go up from, you know, people trying to get $65, $125. Yeah. Um, Royal, especially Royal the purple Worcester dress. Yeah, Royal Worcester is very good. It's very on. The, it's very uh, similar along the lines of like Royal Dalton, and those sorts of things. 
So yeah, you are you are lucky to get a good deal on her today. And if you're a reseller, you can probably make some money if you list her on Etsy or. And I or like eBay. the movement in her dress. Like her, yeah. she's got a lot of movement in her dress. Yeah, they really know what they're doing. They have. They do. They have beautiful. Skull. Yeah, beautiful pieces and even the, the detail on her hair. I mean, it's just it's just really nice. Lori Gerdo is at 22. The way the colors are made. Uh, I mean, the... Yeah, it's really pretty. The detail yeah. is fantastic. It really is, Katie. She's got a really sweet looking face, too. She does, yeah. Well, that's why she's called <laughs> Sweet Anne. Sweet Anne. So, number thirty six thirty, I guess. So if you if you Google Sweet Anne number thirty six thirty, you'll find details about her. Lori's at twenty five. She is just. Let me see if I can grab this again. I can get a better look. Yeah, and that purple flower, I mean, that flower is kind of purplish, lilac mm -hmm. color, too. It's really... <laughs> Sue's at 26. So, yeah, if you if you collect these dolls, this is your, your chance to get one at a real good price. <laughs> Hi, Tammy girl. Everyone's asking where you got your shirt, Tiger. Everyone wants one. I ordered them online. I found this... Unfortunately, Facebook and Instagram give you all these businesses that want to sell you stuff. And when you look up vintage, they find you vintage. <laughs> but this one, yeah, this one was, they had a sale and I ordered a couple of shirts from them. And they came out really nice. They're fun. It looks fun. All right. Do you want to yeah. start counting her down? Now get your bids in, guys. 15. Or is it 27? Bid like you mean 14, it. 14. 13. In. 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. All right, Sue's at 28, waiting for a bid of 29 or more before we get to the bid end. Okay. So, okay. There's a bit of, okay. So there's a bit of 29, but Sue had a just in case of 35. So Sue Golombeski, you get it for $30. Goodbye. That's a pretty very one. So Thank Sue you very much. For $30. Thank you, Sue. All right. Well, I, I'm going to follow suit with Tiger. So Tiger showed Mexican pottery and I showed it. Now, Tiger showed, and I am very blurry. Let me unblur myself. Okay. Now, he showed purple, so now I'm going to show purple. And this, is, I put my little helper in here just to show you that you could use it as a planter. But it is a purple Viking bowl. It is made by Viking. It has this beautiful little swoop down in it. You could totally put a little candle in there if you want to. Or you can put your M&Ms in here. Your peanuts and candy corns can go in here just nice too. I'm starting this at $10. Starting bid is $10 for the purple Viking dish. Has really nice lines to it. And it is, it's purple. It's purple. It's Viking. It does not have the Viking sticker in it any longer, but it is Viking. I see you, Kathy, at 10. Lots of $10 bids. So this, again, would look really nice in a Halloween display as well. Uh, but, you know, putting your candy corns and your peanuts, which sounds really, really fantastic right now to eat. Viking, purple Viking dish with this curved line to it. All right, I see you, Impish Artist, at, nope, now Kathy's at 17. You could put your ice cream in it if you wanted to have ice cream. I would use this. You could still use this if you're like, I'm going to use my Viking. I'm going to be a little bougie tonight, and I'm going to use my Viking to eat my ice cream. 
out of. Then you do you. All right. I see roses, rose at 20. I'm going to start counting this down. Um, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. I went to my local auction and you saw a sticker. Oh, I was at an auction last weekend in Indiana. I see G at 22. Candy peanuts. No, candy corn. If you put candy corn with peanuts and mix it together, it's good. All right, Gia, you got it for $22. Where did I write it down at? $22 for Gia. Thank you so much. No, not I wasn't in Pennsylvania. No. And I have another, another choice lot. This time, the beautiful hand-painted goblets. $5 starting bid, uh, starting offer. <laughs> and it's a seascape on both of them. This one's, one of them's got the fish. And the other one's got the dolphins. Those are, they are fun. They are purple. They feel hand-painted. I don't know where they come from or who made them. They feel hand-painted. They have a beautiful cobalt blue bottom. And then they got the white stem or clear stem. Yeah, I would, I would bet that those are hand-painted. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't see any signatures on them. But they definitely appear hand painted, and they were looked like cobalt blue, and then they just, painted over that. It makes you just want to like sit out and look at the ocean if you if you're mm -hmm. able, and put some wine in one of the you know sit out with your with your bestie, have a glass of wine, looking out at the ocean and your little fishy glasses. That sounds yes. like perfect yes. time to me. Exactly, and remember, no dishwasher, hand wash no only. No dishwasher. No dishwasher. But yeah, this is a choice. You bid on one of these. And whoever ends up with the highest offer has the option to get both. I and would. They I would get both, both. Then they both. have the option to just take the dolphin if they don't like fish or vice versa. Do you know what? I bet, I bet if you put a, a battery-operated tea light in there as like a candle holder, mm -hmm. I bet that would be pretty. There's an idea. Oh my I never thought of that. I was thinking of what can I plant in this or put some yeah. some maybe sand and some some seashells in there if I have them and display them. But then they would disappear inside, so you'd have to have a lot of sand and then put them there. Yeah. Wouldn't look quite right. Uh, I would just, or just put them in your china cabinet and enjoy them. They're just beautiful. Roses, roses at fourteen. This is for choice. $14 choice. Choice of one of each or both for the person with the highest offer. Pam is at 15. And I'm going to go ahead and start the countdown since we're at 15. Start with 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, bid end. Bid end. Hi, Nightmares Treasures. We're great. I hope you're great too. So Jake is at 17. Pam has a just in case of 20. And there's the bid end. So Pam, do you want dolphin or fish or both for 20 or for $18? So Pam wants both of them for $18 each. I don't blame you, Pam. I would too. <laughs> Thank I you very much. I would too. Okay. Oh, what am I going to sell next? Um, how about I do a reader lot? I have a reader lot. Um, there we are. You will get three. You'll get three of these. You get all of them in this set. Oh, I'm so blurry again. There we go. So the first one is this little bitty one. Um, and you open it up, 
Well, on the back of it, it says the silk apron. Oh, we're going to start the bids at $15 for these. You'll get, and you'll get all of these. So the silk apron is, and other stories. This is Boston. I don't know. The, the the very first page was ripped out, so I don't know the copyright date, but I'm going to say this is probably 1890s or so. The silk apron. So you get that one. And then you get three friends. And this is a reader from um, 1948. So we've got winter days, spring surprises, and it's colored... Um, I wanted to see, so yeah, we've got Valentine. We do have some Valentine stories. I always look for holiday stories. Well, now I've lost my place. There are some Valentines. There's a Valentine story in here. There are spring stories. Well, let me just show you a close-up of the pictures, but it's those sorts of pictures. Really fun from the 1940s. A good wash. Am I clean? Sam asked. Let me see, said Sam's mother. And she took a look. But he was clean. So you get that one. And you also get Our New Friends. I see you, Kim, at 15. Yes, that is absolutely new, Nightmares Treasures. Just make sure that if you're wanting to bid on something that you send us your, um, your actual name, your full shipping address, and your PayPal email. But welcome, welcome. This one is dated 1951 is the last copyright. But again, another reader. Oh, look at that bunny. So, you know, you could do these. You could do junk journaling with these if you wanted to. Look, there's little sugar britches driving her little car. Good old sugar britches. And Nancy's birthday party. Storybook friends. I'm wanting, I'm, I need to start doing this a little bit, a little bit more, more prepared. And if there are holiday stories, I need to bookmark them because that's what I always tend to look for. I don't think that there is any in this, but it still has a lot of fun pictures. All right. I see you, Christy, at 18, but you do get all three of these. Hey, Jeffrey. Oh, you've been lurking while you're working. All right. So you do get all three of these and I'm going to start counting them down. Christy is at 18, 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. All right, I see Precious Lavender Buttons at 22. Kim is at 25. You get all three in this lot. They're good for junk journaling. There's the bid end. So, Kim Rogers, you get the lot for $25. Thank you so much. Okay, and my next item is the fairy lamp. Ooh. Now, this is a very specific fairy, a very peculiar fairy lamp. I've never seen one of those before. Now, it is not made in USA. It is made in Taiwan. But it has, we're starting this at $10, by the way. This has the most interesting design of leaves. Wow, that oh, is really cool, Tiger. It is a beautiful piece, and <laughs> I only have two hands. Why? And the inside also has this design. It is really nice. And there is the... Kathy's at 20. Bottom. It does say made in, it does say Taiwan right there. Zinzord's at 30. That's, I tell you them. what, I say this a lot, but there is an amber fairy light gives off the most warm and comforting glow. And it has I a handle. It. So if you decide to walk through a house with it, you can. Oh. I wouldn't, but you can. You have the option. It has a handle. I don't. I have not seen a whole lot of fairy lamps that have handles. Yeah, no. But I just absolutely love, and that's again the fall, 
fall vibe because the leaves are just so beautiful on there. And Rainy I do not know, I'm not aware of any cracks or any, any blemishes. It appears to be in excellent shape. No, it's yeah, not. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that it looks like it looks to be moss or moss or glass. Uh, it's not hand blown. So you can tell it's got, it was made, you know, right, right there. But it's, it doesn't matter. It doesn't take away from its beauty. It's just a beautiful, and it's different. To me, it's a unique piece because the Fentons and the, you know, Home Coast, they're all over the place. But yes. I've never seen one of those before. Well, I was just, I, I spent some money on some fairy lamps this weekend. Jeffrey and I both got a little, a little, we've got a little uh, supply of fairy lamps that we got over the weekend. Sue's at 75. Um, but I spent a lot of money on ones. I'm very nervous about it, but it's an unusual one. And those, I like to find the ones that are a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and start the countdown. Sue's at 85. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, Randy's 10, 90. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bit end. Now we wait. Sue is at 95. Oh, this is the fun, exciting part is waiting on the bid in. Okay, so Randy had, there's the bid in. Randy had a just in case of 137. So Randy, you get it for 96, $96. Very cool. That was a good Thank one, Tiger. Much. Thank you, Randy. Yeah, it's a beautiful piece. I don't know why I'm selling it, but I can't keep everything. I know. I know. <laughs> it's like I'm even I'm either saying I'm keeping it or I just don't need it. You know, I find myself saying that a lot. Well, I might as well just go. I'm going to follow suit like Tiger. I'm going to follow his his lead and I'm going to sell my fairy lamp. Now, mine is Mosser. It, it is a Mosser glass fairy lamp. It is. I love these. These are my favorite. They're just itty bitty little. Um, um, about about four inches tall. It's just little bitty, itty bitty little hand painted mosser. It does have the mosser insignia there on the bottom. This part right here is a very carnival glass looking pink, orange, red, all those colors. And then the hand painted dome has this blue flower, and this was painted by Goldie. Oh, there we go. Well, nope, there we go. Pa hand painted by Goldie. It is a little nugget. It's just so cute. So I am starting this one at $45. Starting bid, $45 for the Mosser Glass Fairy Lamp. Oh, and I do have, it's not over here, but I do have the box that it came in. I do have the original box. Yes, it is the original base. I do have the box that it came in. There are no chips, cracks, or flaws on it. If you kind of look at it in a in a certain light, you can see you can pick up a little bit of a blue hue from that flower. Oh my gosh, I'm not focused again. There we go. So starting bid on this little Mosser glass fairy lamp is $45. It is blue hand-painted flower. And you can pick up a little bit of that blue in the iridescence of the carnival glass. All right, I see you, Velma, at 45 No chips or cracks on it. It's just so sweet and little. If you have a collection of fairy lamps, these little moss or glass ones do look nice because they're such a smaller size. So you can just kind of add it to your crop, if you will. All right. I see you, Gia, at 47. Moss or glass. 
I have the original box. No chips or cracks. The uh, G is at 47. I'm going to start counting down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Oh, my goodness. I'm so blurry today. It's a crop, LaDonna, not a hoard. You grow them because, you know, once you get one, you, you got to get many. All right. I see lots of, okay, I see Gia has the first just in case of 55, but Velma had a just in case of 60. So, Velma, you get it for $57. $57. It's going to Velma. Thank you so much. Velma Mendoza. It's a fun name to say. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay. And I have <laughs> another vase, but this one is a beautiful glass piece. Starting this at $10. And this is about 11 and a half inches tall. It's a beautiful amber piece. And I forgot, I found some information on it, which of course I didn't write down right away. And now I forgot. Um, it's very Empoli-esque. But it is, yeah. And it is just has, look at these beautiful swirly, swirly mm, things. Mm, all the top. I bet that's Empoli because it, 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 look, it looks hand blown. Totally. I wasn't sure. I know um, Jerry from Vintage and Vino mentioned that too. And I was looking it up. I couldn't find anything that, you know, on it though. But The way that it's twisted and around the rim, how it's a little wonky. No, there's just one little spot that is inside the glass. It's a bubble. Mm -hmm. It's not a chip. It is I not a chip. That. I do not feel any oh, chips or see, see any chips. You put a little candle in that, though, too. Ooh, that'd be pretty. Anastasia is at 20. The funny story is, the first time I saw this thing, I walked right by it. I briefly looked at it. It's like, nah, it's not my thing. I don't like amber. Oh, oh I'm gobbling <laughs> up all the amber. I've got a, a well, and, I've got a hoard. I have a hoard of amber glass. I'm just waiting to the right time. Yeah, the, the week later, I, I, I went back there and... Uh, it will happen to be on the experienced people's day where the experienced people get 25% <laughs> off and it. it was still there. And I figured, well, since it's still there, I meant to have it. I'm, I picked it up. I cleaned it up and I've been, it's been sitting here in my house for the last two or three weeks. And I actually fell in love with it. I really did not want to sell it, but again, it's Amber is not too much uh uh my thing since it's since i like purple <laughs> yeah but, well yeah. And, i mean you could drink out of that if you wanted to you could put oh yeah you could put a lot of oh, wine yeah. in that glass you wouldn't have to refill <laughs> or you can put, almost put a whole bottle of wine in there or you can put beer in it because it's already got the right color so True. it doesn't so you can't tell what it is but uh yeah it's i fell in love with this after i picked it up and Put in my house and it is just a beautiful piece i mean if you look at this even the stem is the way it's made it is just yeah. a beautiful whoops and i hate using the word beautiful because it's so overused but i just it, don't know what else to say i could say a, ugly but then i would be lying <laughs> it, it looks to be an applied stem so the stem itself yeah. was attached to it so the stem yeah. is hand blown. It, it's wonky. I love that. That's why I like things that are made by hand like that because it's not mm -hmm. perfect and nobody is perfect. And I like that about these things. Well, I guess I'm going to start the countdown. Yep. We're at $20. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bid end. It's beautiful. Hi, RV Vagabond Travels. 
Hi, Debbie. Kathy is at 22. Okay, so Kathy Scaletta, you got it at 22. Mesmerizing is a good <laughs> descriptive word. Thank you very much, Kathy. Okay, my next item, I'm, I've got a lot of cats here today. Um, so I'm going to do this one first. This is an art glass cat. I've sold one like this before, and I love that I found another one of these again. Now, it when you just look at it, it looks like it's black and white, but the lines inside of this cat are purple. So it's purple and white cat. When you hold it up to the light, you can really see that purple hue, but it is a art glass cat, and it has an applied tail but the nose and the ears or everything are a part of it. And so is the head. So the head is not applied. I'm starting him at $18 for the art glass cat. It's black or it's white and purple. But when you're just looking at it, it does appear that it's black and white. But when you hold it up to the light or if you're putting it in a windowsill, the, the purple, the violet will really pop through. Yeah, you really can't tell. All right, I see you. Uh, Luba is at 22. No, Ruthie's at 25. I totally missed Ruthie up there. Sorry, Ruthie, I missed you. Ruthie's at 25 for the art glass kitty cat. Uh, now I see Luba is at 33. And I do not believe that this is Mirano. No, I do not believe that this is Mirano. It does have a really fine sanded bottom to it, but it does have some air bubbles in it, uh, purple and white. I see, doo -doo 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 -doo. Ruthie is at 38. I'm gonna start counting down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Luba is at 42, nine, eight, seven, six. Ooh, it would be good for Halloween, Katie. Five. Four, three, two, one, bid end. Bid end for the art glass cat. We're looking for a bid of 43 or higher. For the bid end. And there's the bid end. So Luba Carney, you get it for $42. Where did I write it down at? There it goes. 42. Make sure that you do send me your email address so I make sure that I have it. Thank you so much. And my next item is the cool kitty. Uh, I know I had it in my video somewhere and someone said they thought it was a real one because she looks so... It does! She is just a cutie. And again, I do not feel any chips or any cracks or anything. She is... Mark Fascination, 1980, what's it say, 1982. So she is certainly vintage, but she is just a beautiful girl. Oh, well, I love it. Zone. It could also be a handsome guy, but to me, she's a beautiful girl. Now, if you want to readjust her gender when you get her, after you purchase her, <laughs> that would be up to you. <laughs> <laughs> She is roughly, let's see how big she is. Uh, She's roughly a little bit under seven inches long. And she's just sitting there enjoying the day. Nightmare Treasure said that their cats would lose their, if that was in the house. <laughs> <laughs> how much did you want to start it at, Tiger? Five dollars. Sorry about that. That's all right. Five dollars. She's oh just my hanging gosh, out. It does look so real. Enjoying the day. Look at those eyes. It's angry. Oh, <laughs> All well, right. yeah. So, I've heard Nightmare Treasure's comment. I'm it's sorry. like, well, let's see Melinda's who's going to do that. Melinda's at 15. Now Margaret is at 20. I love it. 
it's very kind of like you know we all have that well not all of us do but you know a lot of us have those white ceramic cats you know that sit up so this is kind of like a modern version of it it looks so real yeah, yeah and i can oh, tell if this is dirt or if it's meant to be a little grayish in the front because it probably. could just be, cause yeah it's, it's probably the way it's painted it's, it's one of those tabbies. They have different colors, and they're not not a hundred percent white either. So again, it just contributes to the authenticity of this kitty. So if you're <laughs> allergic to cats, this is your option to there have one go. of the very realistic looking cats, and you will not start to sneeze. And there if you your go. dog doesn't like cats, but you'd like to have a cat, that's another one. Well, we are, Melinda is at 31. Okay, let's go ahead and start the countdown. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, I love its face. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Good end. Bid and Melinda is still holding out at 31 as the high bid, but, oh no, but Melinda has a, just in case of, oh, wait, 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 oh, Melinda, you get it for 31. Joan, you were just after the bid in. Let me double check. Yes, you were just after the bid in, Joan. So Melinda, you get it for, you get that cat for $31. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Melinda. All right, so cats. While we're on the cat kick, I'm still just going to follow Tiger's lead. I have, now you won't get the bowl, but you'll get all of the cats that are inside this bowl. You'll get all of them for one money. And I'm going to show them to you. Um, you get this little gray cat here. Oh, and I'm starting the bids at $15 for the whole lot. We've got this little gray cat here. We've got a little cat creamer. You can put your cream in there and they'll pour your cream. I really like this one. Just a little colorful cat here. All right. I see you, Marcy. Nope. I see you, Melinda, at 20. You get this little uh, teapot. It's a salt and pepper shaker, but it's just a single one. It's brown. Wish upon a whisker. I see you at 26. You get these salt and pepper shakers. The blue and green kitties, they do have their stoppers. They are a quality Japan product. You'll get those. I see you, Lori, at 30. Um, you get just a little gray tabby cat here. I love this one. This is a Halloween-looking cat with that Halloween arched back. Oops. You get this little Siamese cat trinket box. Can hide your vitamins in this little guy. Siamese cat. You get the long stretch cat. Those little cute little cheeks. You get the Morton. Well, it's I think this is a McCoy. Yellow McCoy cat that you can put your little air plant in. See? Woo! I see you, Becky, at 31. You get this little brown kitty and this little, oh, he still has his sticker on. This little brown tiger cat. Instant collection. That's right, Julia. Um, let's see. Laura DeMoss is at 35. You get, these are salt and pepper shakers and you'll get the set of them. Little gray tiger cats. One has a stopper, one does not. I see you, Eclectic Treasure. Nope, Lori's at 48. You get, oh, this one. Now, he has a broken tail, but he's just an itty-bitty little thing. But his little tail is broken. So you get him. Eclectic Treasure Hunter, you're, I see you at 50. And then the last one is, this one is, man, I don't know. It's I. It might be German. And I, Tiger, you're not going to be able to read it because it's so muddled. But you get this little blue and white kitty 
long neck kitty. And my camera won't focus probably long enough, but it looks like Deutsch something. But I could be totally wrong. I don't know. It could be, it could, I don't know. But anyway, you get all of these. All of these cats. We are at $50. I'm going to start counting down. I have a cat, Mr. Fluffer Pants. My cat has a little stumpy tail. He doesn't have a long tail. So that kind of looks like Mr. Fluffer Pants. But Mr. Fluffer Pants is much more fluffy. All right. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 51. I see you. 51, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, bid end. I see Velma. I see, oh, I see Eclectic Treasure Hunter has a just in case of 78. And <laughs> Nightmare Treasure, you're cracking me up. Okay, just waiting for the bid end, and then I'm going to have to go back and look at all these just in cases and stuff. Okay, there's the bid end. All right, so. We have a just in case of 60, just in case of 65. So, Eclectic Treasure Hunter, you get the lot for $66. Thank you so much. I do believe I am correct in that, but I think there was a lot of just in cases. Eclectic Treasure Hunter. All right. Thank you so, so much. That was a fun lot. There it was. Now I have an idea for my little kitty cat figurines. I'm going to find me a bowl to put them in. <laughs> yeah. Stay tuned. Great idea. I have another Mexican piece. This is a planter. It's got the hole in the bottom. And it is signed Amex. Wait a minute, where is it bird now? Bird on it. It is. Yeah, it has a bird on it. It is signed. We'll get to it. Ooh, it is a beautiful God, piece. That's pretty. Very shiny. I do not feel any chips or cracks or see any of them. And we are. I know there's a signature on here somewhere. I saw it before. <laughs> Let me just look at it. Look for it. Find it. It's here. I know it's here. Oh, it's on the bottom. <laughs> there we go. A Max. No, I don't know who A is, and I don't know where it's from, but it is a beautiful piece, and it goes with a. Uh, I know I had some some plates and a coffee pot and a yeah. poster and stuff like that in this in this design. Yeah, Golden Briar has a good idea. It would be good for kitchen utensils too, like your spoons and your um, spatulas mm -hmm. and stuff. That's a great idea. Definitely, definitely. Lottie said Let's that too. Uh, starting that at five dollars. Okay. Here we go. I forget again. Sorry, my remember oh, is right. faulty today. I remind <laughs> you. We remind <laughs> you. I appreciate it. That's so yeah, cool. that bird is just so cool. It is. It's a bluebird of happiness. It looks it very is. happy. Too. Yeah, you could. That there will fit go. right in with all your bluebirds of happinesses. Kathy Scaletta exactly. is at twenty. <laughs> happinesses. That's a good one. <laughs> and I like the way they got the little dots to to accentuate the the little whatever that's supposed to be flower and leaves or fauna of some sort. And it looks in really good shape. I have not found anything wrong with it. Let's and see. yes, Deb, Deb, Deb Lovely is at 21. And again, you gotta bear with me while I'm going the wrong way because I'm still not used to this camera doing it the wrong way. Yeah, Even it's, right. it's definitely right. different. <laughs> yeah. Now let's go ahead and start the countdown and get All the right. show moving. If you if you want it, you know you'll be bidding for it one way or the other. And if you don't want it, then we don't want to bore you any longer. Right. 15. We like to keep 14, it going. 12. 13. Now you now that, that one was your fault. That one was all your fault because you <laughs> interrupted 
me. I, and I, I, I remember the hot member two seconds back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bird end. I mean, good end. <laughs> Kathy is still okay. Deb has a just in case of 31. And we wait for the bid. And there's the bid in. So Deb Lepley gets it for $26. And I yes. ship from Arizona. I'm sorry yep. I keep forgetting to mention these things, but thank you for asking. <laughs> All right. Oh, thank you. My next item is a now. Do you say it tapestry or tapestry? I've heard it both ways, and I've said it both ways. So is it a long A or a short A? What do you guys think? Well, this is we're still staying on the cat theme. This is a beautiful cat tapestry. It is it has the original tag. It is made in. Oh, let me get it to where you can see. It is made in Italy. It is 30, approximately 38 inches long and 19 inches wide. And I'm going to start the bids at $15. For, and it's in excellent condition. There are no holes. There are no tears in it. All of the tap tapestry is nice and bright and vibrant it is made in italy it is vintage all of the little four kitties with their little bows on it's very cute um i have a couple of you have to let me know if you, if anybody would be interested i've got some prayer tapestries and i don't know i mean they're beautiful and I love the colors on them. I'm just not sure um, what the interest would be. Kitty's on a log. Are they on a log? Oh, they are on a log. Look, they're on a log. Kitty's on a log. That could be a song. Okay. Um, I have done the reader, Nettie. I did do the reader. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Wish upon a whisker. Is at 32. I'm going to start counting down. So get your bids in now if you're still wanting this tapestry of the kitties. Um, Lori is now at 35. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. But Nettie, have no fear. I got more. I'll have more next week. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one bid end. Bid end. Meow, 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 meow. Yeah, Nettie, I just bought some more. So I will, I'll, I'll have some more next week. There's the bid end. So Lori, you get the cats for $35. Okay. 35. Lori DeMoss. Thank you so much. And going back to Tiger. And my next piece is a totally cool pink glass bowl, which could be an ashtray. Ooh, it is not a bowl of Conti in it. It is not a hundred percent okay because there is a little bit of a an issue on the bottom where the pontal is, like it. Mm -hmm got broken or chipped a little bit down there. They must have set it down a little too hard. And then there's, I found like a small scratch right here in the glass, right there. Again, I don't know if you can see that. Peachy me, you got, we got lots of, to show still yet. You're good. But, but uh, I don't know if it's, you know, if it's a Murano or not, it could be. But I do not, I, I, I am not an expert, so I'm not going to say it is. 
Well, it has oh, the, bullet, the bullet content, which are those controlled bubbles. And they look to be, they start yes. real small and they get bigger. I sold one similar to that last week, I think. We're starting this at $10. Okay. It reminds me of a strawberry. I don't know why. Yeah. Uh, some for our pink lovers or for our glass lovers. And again, it's not in a 100% perfect shape. But it's a, it's a very nice piece. It has a good weight to it. Mm -hmm. And like these here is, are meant to be there. That's, that's not cracks or anything. That's because of this design, the way, the way it was designed here. And then it's got the little thing here that it could be used for a cigarette or a cigar even. Yeah, I, I was thinking usually the, 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 the wider ones like that. Oh, look who's here. Ooh. Look Jocelyn. Who's here. Jocelyn, hi. Did you see the bird? You don't know me, but I've seen your videos. <laughs> <laughs> so Lori is at 15. How big is it, Tiger? Would you How say? Big is it? Let's see. Uh, good question. I was going to. It looks like it's roughly seven inches in diameter. Okay. And it's probably like a couple inches tall. Kim again, is at 16. Little... A little scratch there. It's on the bottom side. And it's got, you know, just it shows some wear and tear on the bottom. But if you sit it down on the table, especially if you have your something in it, it, you wouldn't really be able to see it. It would be nice to put your jewelry in at the end of the day. Take your watch off. Put that in there. Keep it at your bedside. You could use it as a yeah. smudger, too, if you were doing some sage. You oh, yeah, there you go. A smudge dish. Now the now the little the little chips on the bottom here it's not not very very sharp. I do not feel like you can cut yourself on them. But I mean, if you if, if you actually put down like on a wooden table, you may want to put something underneath it, like a little yeah. poster or something. But other than that, it's it's a real nice piece. Jocelyn it's a real says nice. It's nice quality, and I love the color. It's well, thank you, color. Jocelyn. Appreciate that. Yeah, I haven't seen too many of the pink ones around. Mm -mm. I've seen actually Very a lot nice. of purple. Of course, that could have to do with the fact that I'm searching for purple and put in purple in my search bar. I don't know. Yeah, it's like a moth <laughs> to a flame with you and that purple. <laughs> but no, this is a really nice piece. And again, I did start at a good price for what it is with a faults it has and it can still be loved and make you happy in your home let's go ahead and start the countdown like jolly rancher, rancher. <laughs> and yeah you can put your jolly ranchers in there you can put your candy in there let's start the countdown 15 14 13 12 11, 10, 9, 17, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Yeah, the Bulaconti is very uniform, so it could very well be Murano because of the quality of how it how it's all evenly spaced. Yeah. Kim, Kim has a just in case of 30. It does look like it, but again, I'm not an expert, so I'm not going to say it because if it turns out not to be, then no. Well, I think people can appreciate that for sure. All right, waiting on the bid end. Justin, we need a just we need an offer of $18 or more. Did I say bid end? I thought I said bid end. I think you did. We'll just wait for Emma to type it yeah, in. That's the lag. The, the lag know. sometimes is, is good, and then sometimes it's okay. There's the bid in. There okay. So, Kim Rogers, you get it for $18. She had a just in case of $30, so she gets it for $18. Good price on that, Kim. Great deal for you. Thank you very much, Kim. All right. All right, my next item is this set here. Now, I am, I paid up for this because I fell in love with it. I think that it's just 
perfect for Halloween displays. And I'm already just, that's where my mind is. It is this beautiful melamine set. Now, remember, melamine is the material and Melmac is the brand. So this is not branded anything. So it is this really lovely kind of spongy melamine cream and sugar set. It does have, they do have the lid. Oh, I just love this so much for a coffee bar. I'm going to start, and you also get the platter. I'm going to start the bids at 20. You will get all four pieces if you're counting the, the lid, but I love this platter. I, I had this set with this platter in the back, golden briar. I see you at 20. And then I set these up and then I put, you know, I'm going to do it. You know, you can put a little air plant in there. You could, if you had a Halloween decal, you could put that there. I just think that it's great for a Halloween display. I love it so much. I love melamine too. I've been buying a lot of it lately. Um, oh, I love you too, Jocelyn. Um, but I, this is in really good shape. So you could use this. And I, again, I, I think that you should. Don't just put these in a... Yes, Golden Briar, you can totally use it for food. This uh, That's what this was made for. So use it. Serve your, you know, your little hot dogs wrapped up in as mummies. You know, do you guys ever do that if you've got little kids? You make little mummies with the, you make them, the hot dogs look like mummies. Serve that on there for Halloween. Use it in a display. I would not put them in the dishwasher. I would just hand wash them as I would any vintage piece of dishware that I'm using. But again, you definitely use these in your coffee bar. You can keep your sugar in there and your cream if you're having coffee with your husband one morning. You know, you could be fancying it up if you're like wanting to go spend some money. You know, you can like sweet, you know, sweet talk him and treat him like a king with his fancy things. Yes, with the crescent rolls. Yes. All right. So I am seeing Kim is at 25. I'm going to go ahead and start counting down so we can keep this moving. Uh, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Yeah, I wouldn't put it in the microwave either. Just, you know, use it, but still take, you know, Treat it like you would before you had a microwave. All right. I see Kim has a just in case of 30. There's the bid in. Kim, you didn't need it. You get the set for $25. Thank you so, so much. It's a bid in. Kim Rogers, you got it. And my next item is another one of my Mexican friends. This one is a totally cool Tonala looking signed Mexico duck. Hmm. I love the little nubbin's feet. Yes, he does have little nubbin's feet. I love that. Well, and he does have a totally cool bird painted on his back. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there is a little bit of an of a scratch in this bird. I like the but cactus that, next to the bird too. That's nice. Yeah, that's very yeah. southwestern. Yeah, I and like then that. there's some, some plants there. And then there's, and we're starting this at $5. Okay. And the beak has a little bit of paint loss, but it is not, it is not chipped. It just looks like the paint flaked off a little bit. Bird tattoo on a bird. I like that he's chunky. He's chunky. He's chubby. Yeah. He's just cool. I I really I actually had him sitting in my in my cabinet for quite a while and enjoyed him, but I figured it's time for him to find a new home because I have purple in my cabinet now. Yeah, <laughs> and you're and you're. Uh, did you get your Garfields put away? Are you keeping those out? Not yet, but I'm still working on that. I'm okay. I, well. I have to find the boxes for the Garfields, but I may just wrap them up and and for now. Because, yeah, I definitely want to put some of my, my nice MCM stuff. I got that 60-piece dish set I bought for $38 in the German, made in Germany ones. Yep. I want to put it in there. Yeah, we do. We tend to have revolving collections. That's absolutely right. 
I'm going yeah. through. We it just as soon as I get a shelf full right now, then I'm like, mm, I think, and then you see you watch somebody else's video and like you see how they have something displayed, and you're like, oh, oh I want that. And then it you know it starts all over again. That's what we do. We yeah. just see nice, pretty things that we like, and we want them. Yep, I'm and my girlfriend. Godfrey is going to stay my, my Godfrey forever. So he's not going to go away. I'm just going to put him away, yeah. but I'm not going to sell him. Everything else I will eventually sell, but not Garfield. So let's go ahead and start the countdown on this totally cool Mexican duck, whether it's Tonala or not, it is. it looks like it. And it is very pretty, very nice, nice artwork. And like I said, just a little bit of a scratch on the back there, but... Other than that, it's a nice little piece. It's not too large. Peachy me is at 23. It's about five inches. So let's go with 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, bid end. Kim is at 26, looking for an offer of 27 or more before the bid end. I see you, Jana, just in case, at 27. <laughs> Ooh, just in case okay. of 50. Kim, now Kim is at 28. There's the bid end. Okay, so Jana had a just in case of 27. But Zenzord had a just in case of 50. So, but Kim had a bit of 28. So, Zenzord, you get it for 29. 29 Thank you very much. Dollars goes to Zenzord. Good, good. That was fun to watch. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Zenzord. <laughs> good luck, Julia. All right. My next item is I got to get them ready. Okay. It is this cute little Napco skunk. Oh, I love these little guys. And he has a little flower, or she, we don't know. We don't care, but little flower. And it says, for you. It is Napco. It does have the original Napco sticker there on the bottom. He's got all of his little feathery goodness, his little on his head right here, his little floof. And his little flowers are kind of like a papery material. He doesn't have any flaws. I am starting him at $15 for the skunk. I just sold his buddy yesterday that had the four leaf clover. And this guy has a little flower and it's for you with little exclamation marks. But, you know, to get these fluffed out, you just kind of blow and they're little their little uh, feathers just get all poofy again. I see you, Julie, at 25. Isn't he cute? I love, I am like finding skunks a lot more and I'm starting to appreciate them. And I know that a lot of people, I know that Barb, Jeffrey's, you know, real nifty, real nifty Barb, her bathroom is done all in skunks. And I think that is an adorable thing to do in your bathroom, like stinky skunks in your bathroom. I love that idea. All right. Hey, Thrifter Not Hoarder. Um, Peachy Me, it's courtesy to bid before you do it just in case, but I can't police that because sometimes people just pop in. So it's a courtesy thing to do, but there's no way that I can that I can police it. Oh, there you are, Barb. Oh, winking owl, Barb. Oh, I just saw you say winking owl, Barb, and I thought she was here. Okay, let's go ahead and count this down. We are at $27. And... Now we're at 28. All right. 15, 14, 13, 10, uh, 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. I love his little happy face. And you know, skunks are really cute animals. They really are. I mean, you don't want them to spray you. And like when your dog gets sprayed by a skunk, you're cursing the skunks, but they're still cute little animals. All right. So, oh, okay. There's the bid end. So Shannon, okay. So 
Shannon had, no, Norma had a just in case of 40. Shannon had a bid of 40. So Norma, Jacob, you get him for $41. Thank you so much. He's very cute, Norma, Jacob. And they're getting hard to find. Everyone is loving the skunks lately. Okay, and there is an 11 between the 12 and the 10. Uh, well, you know, it wouldn't be a misty sale if she didn't <laughs> screw up the number somehow. 11s are overrated, <laughs> right? Yes. I mean, you know, a lot of a lot of businesses leave out the 13 because I think it's a bad number, but yeah. 11 are, yeah, overrated. We yeah, don't need them. We, we don't need 11. <laughs> we don't need 11. Now, my next piece is another mid-century modern ashtray. It is a beautiful and totally cool, I hate to say beautiful, and I still do it, brown. It's a dark brown with kind of uh, beige speckles on it. It is not marked or anything, but I do believe it's California. It acts like it. It completely it looks like glazed it. on the bottom. It's, yeah. It does. I thought, oh, is that red wear? But it's it's no, it's glazed. It's pottery, yeah. yeah, it does have uh, marks where someone had stickers or like uh, on there where they put it, I guess, to protect the table. Yeah. Felt pads. Using posters, but that's on the bottom, and uh, I did not, I did not get them off. I don't know if they, they there's probably tricks to get them off. They're just marks. They're not broken. There's no chips. I don't see any cracks. It's just a cool piece, and the color is really nice. It's this dark brown with those with a design on it. Yeah, and Jocelyn had a good that. idea. You could put your makeup brushes on it. You can line up all your makeup mm -hmm. brushes and put your sponges in there in the middle. Uh, uh, Starting at ten dollars, by the way. Right. Or you can use it for painting for paint brushes. Yeah. You just gotta clean it up afterwards, but you gotta clean up anyway. So it's a really it's it's just a really nice piece. Let me see. I was going to measure it. It looks like it's about eight inches by six inches. It's pretty. It, yeah, it really is. And it's shiny. I love shiny. If it's shiny, I'll buy it first and ask questions later. <laughs> <laughs> I even like the bottom of it. The bottom of it is even pretty with that swirl. Yep, yep. If you ever can get this get this residue cleaned up, you can actually turn it upside down if you want. Use it as a riser. You never know. Well, it's got a little, a few rubbin. So you really can't put anything on top of it. But uh, it's got the little thing here. You can play. You can play a snail with it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Make a little maze or something. A little maze for your snails. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> But yeah, no, it's just really, and I'm not really that big on brown. There's just some browns I like, and I do wear them, but not not often, often. But this one is one of the browns I really like, the dark brown. It's really pretty. So we're at twelve dollars. Let's go ahead and start the countdown. All right. Fifteen. We're at fifteen dollars with Kim. Fourteen. Thirteen. 12, 11, overrated, 10, <laughs> 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, good end. All right, so we've got, uh, Kim has a just in case of 19, but Kim, you're still in the high bit of 15. Tiger is a natural at this. Oh, thank you. And there's the bid in. So, Kim, you get it for 15. Thank you very much, Kim. All right. My next item is something that I just found recently. And I, I this is this is the green that I want my cabinets to be in my kitchen. My, I cannot convince my husband that we need to do this, but I love this green color and I was at the antique mall and I saw it and I was immediately drawn to the color because I just, I love it so much. I did stick this little uh, spider airplane in here and then I looked, I tipped it over and it is Holt Howard. So this is a very mid-century modern Holt Howard, little small squatty pitcher. 
And it has, I think it's great for fall too, because it has greens and browns in it. It's this lovely matte pottery, which I love the feel of. It's in excellent condition. Um, I am starting this at $12. It just looks great if you have books stacked up. You can set it up there. You can still use it to put cream in. You can put a little plant in here. Um, but I love it. I really, if we're once upon a time when we decide to redo our kitchen, I want an island, a kitchen island, and I want the front cabinets to be this color, I think. I see you, Lori, at 30. It's just a really beautiful, fun, mid-century modern piece. It does have the Holt Howard sticker there on the bottom. So that was just a nice surprise to see. I was going to get it anyway because I really liked the color and the shape and size of it. Um, I see you, Ruthie, at 39. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and start counting this down. 15, 14, 13, 12, <laughs> 11, 10, 9, 8, this is residue from the sticker. It's not a chip. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bid end. I lo absolutely love this color. I see Ruthie has a just in case of 49. But Lori has a just in case of 50. And there's the bid in. So, Lori, you get this pretty for $50. Because Ruthie had the just-in-case of 49 and so you get it for 50 Thank you so much. It's beautiful. And there we go. Thank you. My next item is another set of ephemera. It is a set of cards with birds on them, but those birds seem to be made with real feathers. Mm. Four of them, I believe. There's one. Yep. There's two. Oh, those are starting nice. These at ten dollars. We're starting these at ten dollars. Now, you do you get all of them for that price? Yes, you get all of them, the whole set. And these are two Joanne more. Joanne Tiger shipping from Arizona. No, I, I I looked carefully at the back. I do not see any info on them. I do not. I cannot tell um, how old they are. But this these appear to be real feathers. They Just do. You, at it. A lot of times that feather art is made in Mexico. Mm, oh no, yeah, Justin, go go get ready. She's going on. She's going on vacation tomorrow. No, I'm gonna go ahead and take one of them out. I do not like to take these out of the out of the thing because they're just very i don't want them to mess up i don't want to mess them up but they're already pretty old just looking at the cardboard they're on and they've survived so far so i'm sure they're fine if i take one out Justin no. says she loves your shirt tiger oh thank you <laughs> thank you very much so they're beautiful you tiger. Get four of them starting with ten dollars four of these totally cool pieces now they the um the cardboard does have some staining which comes with age but those birds look like they're in really good shape themselves and all of all the feathers are still there that they're made of and they I would don't look know very which... nice in a frame as a collage you know yeah okay i see Definitely. joanne's at 12. And they are made, they, they are on a little heavier cardboard. So it's not paper. It's a little heavier cardboard that they're put on. And you can see the branch there. That's really nice that it's sitting on the branch. And I'll bet <laughs> you the branch and the other things are all hand painted. Yes. Yeah. It definitely looks hand painted. There's another one. It definitely looks handmade. Hand painted. <laughs> and Tossin said, someone better get those birds. <laughs> Those I, I I came across them at an estate sale, and I was thinking using them for junk journaling or for ephemera or something. But I figured they're they're too nice for me. I don't have room on my walls, obviously, and uh, I figured they probably do better if someone else purchased them and 
put some in the frame. I love that one. That yeah, one. that's a new cool one. He looks kind of like he's just been through a rough day. It's a, it's a rough day. <laughs> yeah, it's been a rough day. He's home. He's ready for his drink, and he's waiting <laughs> for Mama to bring the bottle. Come on, come on. I'm waiting. <laughs> yep, yep. I like that one. He looks almost like a little peacock, but that one looks like a little woodpecker. That does, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what kind of birds they're supposed to be. That one is definitely a chicken. And that chicken yeah. looks like it's on a cloud. And I think the other I... one's a robin. That's true. That could be. No, well, these are absolutely beautiful. And I'm gonna leave them in these in these covers and ship them like that. That I don't even like to take them out to look at them because I don't wanna mess up the the feathers. And again, they look like real feathers to me. Oh, I cannot, of course, you know, I don't don't have any proof of that. And they're not signed. It looks like someone just made them. Some I'm artists wondering. just just made them for themselves. Uh, pleated woodpecker. Oh gosh, gotta ask the bird lady. It's a pleated <laughs> woodpecker. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the countdown. Jan is at 15, 31. 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. We need a offer of $32 or more. Oh, we see... Joanne has a just in case of 60. Sandra has a just in case of 53. Sandra has a bid of 53 or 63. Wow. And there's the bid end. So Sandra K gets them for $63. I think that those are really lovely. If you think about how much those are, how much you're buying for those each, you know what I mean? It's a really, it's they're really pretty, pretty cool. It's not something that you see every day. That's like someone's a good deal. They're definitely worth it because they're old, they're handmade, and thank you very much. I appreciate it. I yeah, appreciate it. I think they're support. lovely. I think they're lovely. They well, are. I thank have you. a brooch. Actually, I actually have two brooches today. Hopefully, we'll get to two of them, to both of them. But I have this. I fell in love with this silly thing because it reminds me of um, the tacky Christmas plastic stuff that I love so much. I'm going to start the bids at this at, oh, now she's leaving. She wanted to make sure the birds were going to, were going. So now Jocelyn's leaving. I'm starting the bids. Ah! Now Sherry just started it at, at 10. But it has these iridescent stones in the middle of these blue plastic flowers. It's in a green casing with another little, or not green, gold, with another little jewel right there. You can see the back of it. It's very lightweight, but it's a statement brooch for sure. And I love, I keep touching it. I don't know. It's just weird. I like this plasticky material. Yeah, I like it. Oh, I'm blurry. There we go. All right. So I see Sherry is at $10. And I'm going to go ahead and start counting this down. So here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. I see you, Punk Junk Barbie, at 15, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. I think it's pretty. I still, I see you, I still, and I say this all the time, but people put these in their hair. I need to start putting them on my little bandana things. All right, Barbie is has a just in case of 20. Uh, but Shannon had a just in case of 21. So Shannon, since Barbie had a just in case of 20, Shannon, you get it, the brooch for 21. Thank you so much. And there we go. Thanks, Gabby. And my next item comes in a box. And the box says... Fenton. Now, this is one of my better finds of recent shopping trips because it is a 
handmade eagle plate. Oh, pretty. It's and it's made by Fenton. Plate. Wow. It's a Fenton plate. It somewhere has its uh, certificate, which I had on top here. Now it fell out. But it does have everything. It's got the, whoops. There we go. It's got the Fenton mark. It even still has the price tag on it. Original price, $65. Hand starting this at 15 Starting this at $15. Hand painted, and it's got the painter's uh, name on there. You can actually Google her. She's 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 on there. I found her, Alice wow. Farley, and it is an excellent shape. No, I have not seen any or felt any any cracks or any chips. It looks like it's probably been in, in its in its box the whole time. It still has, like I said, it still even has the original price tag on there. And again, that would be great to use in a 4th of July. I mean, I know we're over the 4th of July is passed, but you could use that in a 4th of July display or Memorial Day or Labor Day, well, Veterans Day. Yeah, and it'll be come, come back. I mean, it's going to be 4th of July again before you know it. I'm flies. 4th of July is coming. Exactly. <laughs> it'll be back soon. It will be. And this, <laughs> and this is an 8 inch, 8 inch plate. So it's a regular regular plate size, but if you look at the detail, you can tell the it's detail. It's very of nice. It. You, and can you can see, see the like feathers. The, yeah, and the clouds in the sky. And look at the mountains in the back. It looks mm -hmm. like he's in Colorado. And then there's a little water below him, and then there's this little. I just like the scenery, and then of course the feathers. You can see the detail. And again, it's hand painted, it is marked, it's signed, it's got tags and stickers, and it is an original, and it is numbered, number you, 10. You know, that's oh. nice, though, too, because a lot of Fenton pieces are very feminine, and this is a masculine, it's more of a masculine piece of Fenton. Yeah, it is, it is a beautiful piece. I mean, I am... I, I was really happy when I found this. It was just that, it, yeah, especially the, the 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 box and everything was still yeah. there. Especially when I find these at these at these stores where people mess with stuff and take stuff apart and then you know take stuff out of the box. I've seen so many empty boxes at thrift stores in my in my career. It's amazing. So I was really thrilled that this was in the box. Yeah, and everything was complete. Shyla is at 30. Let's go ahead and start a countdown. We're starting at 15, 14, 13 for this beautiful plate. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one mid end. Waiting on an offer of $31 or more with a bid end. And we wait. Oh, here it is. There's the bid end. A card that came with it. I finally found it. <laughs> Shyla Rush, you got it at $30. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. My next item is, these are just so cute. And I, I don't know who made these. They're saying a little nap go to me, but don't know for sure. But they're little, I don't know. I think that they're egg cups, but I'm just going to show them to you. Don't know right now, but look at how cute they are. Look at these little fellas and their little mustaches. Now, this one doesn't have a lid, but this one has its little lid. And he's got like a little feather in his hair. His lid comes off. Aren't they cute? They're like, the paint is like an airbrushed on there. They are made in Japan. They do have, it just says Japan there on the bottom. But I just thought that they're cute. All right, so I am starting these 
start bids at I'm starting these at $12. You will get the the set of them for $12. They're little men. They'll hold your egg. And I just think that these are just so cute. You can put a little air plant in there and give him some hair if you want. But I love that this one. And you can see like his hairline still is painted on there. And this little feather. You can keep your vitamins in here. And, the, and, and your egg. And they're hand painted. So the hair um, colorations are, are a little bit different. So I just thought that they were just adorable. I see Ruthie at 20. They have no flaws, no chips or cracks. They are marked Japan on the bottom. And they both are. Now the hat does fit either one. So you can decide he gets to wear the hat that day. And then he gets to not have a hat. All right. I see you R and L at, um, 25 ginger stash and brown hair. Yeah, totally. Oh, move my face out of the way. There we go. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start counting these down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one bid end. I see Ruthie at 29. Thank you, Lena. That's so sweet. Yeah, I'm addicted to the Zenny now. I got all kinds of glasses and I keep looking at more. It's going to be an addiction of mine. My husband's like, oh, geez. there's the bid end. So RNL Carver, you get them for $30. Thank you so much. Uh, there we go. You're muted, Tiger. I thought I unmuted myself, but I guess I <laughs> muted myself. Now I have this totally cool pink depression glass little, little plate with a with a handle. I know there's probably a name for these things. Lemon I, tray, tidbit tray. I think it's more of like maybe a lemon or just an, you know, a trinket tray. But, yeah, I'm starting this at $5, please. $5 for this pink depression uh, thing. I don't think it glows. Yeah, it does. A little. A little bit of uranium yep. in it. Yeah. And it is, I think it was 7 inches around. Yeah, 7 inches diameter. And then, of course, the handle is about 3 inches tall. So it's a cute little pink thing for the pink people among us. Hi, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of oh. you when I found this. Oh, I, you know, I do that a lot too. You find certain things and it's just like, oh, I know who would like that. Oh, I know who would like that. Yes, 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 definitely. And she made it here on time. I know she had some errands to run this morning. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we got this. We're starting this at $10. We're working on the bids. Appreciate you, every bit. You could put cheese on that. Little cubes of cheese. But I think it is for lemons. For like if you're serving tea. If you're having tea time. Put your lemon slices on it. Yeah, I don't know. It's too small for cheese. I mean, come on. You're hungry. That's not going to cut it. Seven cheese inches of me, cheese. though. Mm. <laughs> My cheese. <laughs> My serving. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that's a nice size. And it, oh, it's butterman perfect. for a baby shower—that's a good idea. Or a bridal okay. shower. Mm -hmm. There you go. Or if you want to do the the pink thing when you have like the baby, uh, whatever they do with the gender, gender reveal, reveal. Things, mm -hmm. even though I think that's overrated with the colors. But that's, you know, if people like to do it that way, why not? And I really like the the the, fa the, the, the ruffle, not ruffles, but it's, you know, the consistency and the little, mm -hmm. you know, I used to be able to speak English, but all of a sudden it's all gone. <laughs> and boom, out of my head. 
But yeah, let's go ahead and start the countdown. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bit end. Okay. Oh, I'm not paying attention. Okay. Ruthie was at 22, but Susan had a just in case of 30. There's the bid in. So Susan Pickletink, you get it for $23. Thank you very much, Susan. Oh, and you guys, I'm really excited because for my pop-up shop, Tiger is coming. He's coming all the way from Arizona to Indiana. And it, it, I'm so, and, and he'll be here on his birthday. So we're going to have a, some, what did I call that? A um, nightcap on, on a Saturday night for Tiger's birthday. That's going to be fun. Okay. Um, all right. I've got a poodle. Now I don't know. I don't know who makes this, but it's very, it's very cute and it's like velvety. And I like that it still had its little leash. So you could get your Barbies out and Barbie could have a poodle and she could still walk them along with a little leash. But it's very, very mod and modern. It's a very mod and modern poodle. Look at its little tail. It's got a little wire tail so you can put the tail however you want it. But I am starting the bids uh, at the of uh, this little poodle at $10. Oh, bye, Jake. Thank you for coming. But here she is. Now, I like the inside of her little ears are the teal green. She is ready to mingle. She's a snooty pooty. Uh-huh. Take her for a walk. Hang her up. But she's in great shape. She's got a little uh, little nose, a little plastic nose, all intact. No stains on her. She's very velvety. She's just got back from the groomer. Uh, all right. Uh, September 4th and 5th of September. Right. Oh, what a month away. Oh, month away. All right. Let's count this down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, I see Ruthie at 11, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid, end. I love her ears, that ends, that little green, pop of green. Vicki, I see you at 15. Ruthie, I see you at 16. Attack of the giant poodle. And there's the bid end. So, Ruthie, you get the poodle for $16. Thank you so much. Now, Barbie said Tiger's birthday is not the weekend. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. Let me make you big. Yes, thank you. I have a pair of very Arizona quail. Now, Ooh. these are made of sand, the kind like the sand paintings are made out of. And they are signed. And I'm starting these at $7 for the pair. Mm -hmm. They go together. Now, it says MS and NPL. I tried to Google this person. I could not figure out anything. But they are very beautiful. They are very intact. They have the little turquoise design on the back. Very southwestern. Very southwestern. And I love my quail. They're always running around through the yard. And when they have babies, then the little babies are running behind them. And the whole family runs around. They're so cute. But this is like one big and one little, if it's mommy or daddy and baby. Tiger, are you in the Phoenix area? Yes. You know, my dad was raised in Phoenix. 
He went you to mentioned Camel, that, yeah. He went to Camelback High. Oh, cool. Yeah, I know what that is. <laughs> yep, that's where he that's where he graduated from. Are they bisque? I don't know what they are. I know they're like sand painting, like sand painting material. So that's I just call them sand quail. But that's sand me. Quail. Sand quail. Not sand man, but sand quail. Okay, Terry, I'll check it. They do, they do. Kitchy Corner says they remind me of the Partridge fam family. Yeah, true. Well, what is that Partridge family song? Ah. Uh, Come on, get happy. Yes. No, you don't want me to sing in. Everybody's going to run out immediately. And we are back to zero viewers. <laughs> <laughs> well, Golden Briar is at 16. Cool. Let's go ahead and start the countdown. 15. All right. 14. 13. 12. 11. 10. 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good end. Kim is at 18. Need a bid of $19 or more. Oh, okay. So we've got Zin. Well, Lori had a just in case of 20. Zenzor had a just in case of 30. So there's the bid in. But Kim had a just in case of 21. So Zenzor gets them for 22. $22. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. My next item is the giraffe planter. Now I've sold the big one before. This is a smaller one, and I think Fatbird Finds had the smaller one, and they had seen it, or they had sold it a little while back. But I did stick this greenery in here just to kind of show them off a little bit. But this is an excellent condition. I am starting this at $16. It is very lustery look. It has a very luster look to it. It is in excellent condition. There are no chips around the rim at all. I've ran my fingers around it. The back of it is... Is just as pretty with these flowers on the as it is on the front. There's no markings on it. I can just tell by the weight of it, the way it feels that it's made in Japan. I see you, Kathy, at 20. But yeah, it has the mama giraffe and the baby giraffe and these beautiful pink and yellow flowers that go all the way around. This kind of looks like bamboo to me, but I don't know if bamboo has flowers. I don't know, but... It's lovely. None of the legs, because I always, I check to make sure, have any of these legs been glued back on? No, it's in excellent condition. Yeah, you don't see giraffes very, giraffes and zebras. Um, I, you know, it's fun to find those sorts of animals that you don't really see very often. All right, I'm going to start counting this down. Wish Upon a Whisker is at 21. Nope, now Ruthie's at 25. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. It is six inches tall. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bid end. Looking for an offer of $26 or more. All right. And now we, I see a just in case of 28, but Kathy has a just in case of 40. There's the bid end. So Kathy Scaletta, you get the giraffes for $29. Thank you so much. And there we go. Okay. I'm, I'm breaking the monotony. I have lots more Southwestern stuff, but we're going with something different now. We're going with Japanese. Well, now, this like is a sugar, a sugar dish. Now, the lid comes with it, but it's not the original dish lid. Uh, it does look good when you display it. It doesn't quite fit right. But for these dishes nowadays, I think people use them as planters mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. You don't, you don't, may not need the lid. And even if you use it as a sugar dish and you have a spoon in there, 
So you don't need no stinking lid. Lids are overrated. You don't need no stinking lid. You don't need no stinking lid. <laughs> so this is a Nippon piece. So this is actually an antique. Let's see it. This upside down. This is upside up. It is marked. No, this is upside down. It's so light I can not even see it. But it does. It is marked Nippon, and it is marked J O J E O H. I've I found their stuff online, so it is it is a legitimate company, and I just love the pattern. And we're starting this by the way at six dollars. And uh, there's a little bit of wear and tear on the gold on top here, which just shows that it's been used and it's been loved. And I like that. I would hate yeah. to think that this poor thing was stuck somewhere in a vitrine all its life and was never appreciated. I just love the design. It looks kind of flowery and it would make a nice planter or air mm -hmm. plants or whatever you want to put in there. Makeup I keep brushes. I keep looking for the ones that you always have, but I cannot find any of those. I've found mm. others, but not those. Amazon. Uh, Amazon. Now, the other ones I have, these came from Dollar Tree. But um, Michael's. Michael's sells well, them, I found too. some of the other ones at Dollar Tree, too. Yeah. No, this is it's a similar similar design. It looks a little different, but... Uh, Do you know what else that one. would be cute for? And I bet they would fit Dixie Cups. If you put your Dixie oh, yeah. Cups and you stack them in there... You, that would work. It's a fancy, it's a bougie Dixie cup. But when you brush your teeth, there that you would go. probably work. Nice. Dixie cup dispenser. Let's cover up the Dixie cup with something classy. Yeah, put that in there. Uh, classify the Dixie. Yeah. Right. It's a bougie. It's a bougie Dixie cup holder. But it seems to be in excellent shape. I do not see any cracks or any chips. And it's just a beautiful design, which is why I picked it up because uh, it was just, I just fell in love with the design. And again, it does have a lid and it does look nice, the lid, but it's kind of weird shaped and it does not quite fit. It was on something different before. But, you know, you can use it for display if you would like to. And from the research I've done, the original lids were really nice. They all had designs on them, and they were uh, you know, matching or similar to the handles. But this is a beautiful piece. So if there, well, yeah, we do have a bid. So let's go yeah. ahead and count it down. And you are getting a heck of a deal if it stays that way. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, bid end. So now we wait. Now we wait. <laughs> Margaret has a bid of 10. Oh. And there's, oh, but Golden Briar had a just in case of 11. So Golden Briar gets it at for $11. Thank you very much, Golden Briar. Appreciate it. And thank you, Margaret, for your bid, too, and everybody else who bid. All right. Oh, I'm so blurry again. I think that that little baby face, maybe Liberace's face, I don't know, blurs up my camera. All right. I have another brooch. And this brooch, as soon as I saw it, because I had watched one of Dee, the Thrill of the Thrifts sales, I think it was her 4th of July sale and she had this brooch on or it was very similar to this and i saw it and it just i was like oh that's the that's the brooch that d had but it's red white and blue it's a metal floral brooch it is just really mod and fun and all and all those adjective words for mod and fun i'm gonna start this at six dollars it has a silver lobster claw clasp on it and just, I mean, it's just a fun brooch. You could wear this for the 4th of July, Memorial Day. You can wear it in your hair. But yeah, I, oh, Kitchen Corner has this one. Yeah, I have been like seeking out these metal floral brooches. They're just really colorful and fun. Red, white, and blue. It is metal. 
All right, we're going to start counting this down. I see Julie is at 15. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. I see Marcy at 16, 8, oh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. For the fun. Yes, Magpie Ethel. Oh, I love. If you are not following Magpie Ethel on Instagram, oh, make sure you do. Her displays will just make you happy. She's an artist to what she does. I see you, Ruthie, at 18. And there is the bid in. So thank you so much, Ruthie. I got you at $18 for the red, white, and blue brooch. And I have yet another plate. I have all sorts of plates. This one all is sorts. extremely beautiful. This one has a most beautiful sunset scenic design. We're starting this at $6. This is a Franklin Mint. It is signed. There's a sign signature on the bottom there. And it also has the whole story behind it. Limited edition. Twilight and Haven. Twilight Haven. It's a beautiful piece. I mean, that is, if you just want to put this in your, in your cabinet or even on a counter on a little stand, it's, this is just as... Is, is nice as a photo on the wall. It's just a it little bit is. smaller. <laughs> and you could put it on the on like your shelf and put like ducks and stuff like that in front of it. So it's like setting the scene. You put mm -hmm. your little wildlife critters on there in front of it. Yeah, it's a standard eight inch size. It's just I fell in love with it when I saw it immediately, just for the for the picture. I see a lot of these type of plates but I don't always pick them up because most yeah. of them are kind of kitschy and just kind of like you know blah nothing special this one struck me as special and it's really hard to see on the on the video and especially when you're on your phone with a small screen none of these look like that like this in real life it looks so much prettier when you actually hold it in your hands and see the actual picture in front of you I like that that house has the lights on. So it's just like mm -hmm. the sun is setting and the lights are on and you can see like the other houses in the background. It's like you, you feel like you can walk into that scene. Yeah, the smoke coming out of the chimney. Yeah. That gives you the, you know, the fall. You know, it's cold, but not quite winter because there's no snow yet. Let's go ahead and start the countdown. Okay. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. Thank you, Lena. It does look remind me of Thomas Kincaid in a way. Uh, and Marcy is at 15 and there's the bid end. So Marcy, you got it at 15. I see Ruth at 18. Oh, let me look. Bid end. Oh, wait, that's the different one. That was last yeah. one. Never yeah, mind. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's okay. My bad. Sorry, Marcy. Didn't want to take it <laughs> from you. And thank you very much. <laughs> All right. My next item is this art glass bird. And it is a, well, it's clear glass. And then on the inside has swirls of black and red. And, man, you know, when you look at these, they just, when you're holding it up to like a really bright light, like I have in front of me, you could really see the, all the, the different, lines and stuff in it. Um, I'm going to start this bird at $15. It is not signed. Do not know who made it. 
it ha it's in great condition. It does not have a chipped beak, but it's just, it's red and black. And it's just fun. I like the long tail that it has. And the colors, the black kind of goes into a little bit of a V. You can see that there. And on the bottom, you can see kind of, it's just hard to tell unless you're looking at through it with a straight light. All right, I see you can't find, ma it's magpie, Ethel. Um, M-A-G-P-I-E, Ethel, on Instagram. Kim, I see you at 22. I heard squirrels of red. <laughs> Did I say squirrel? I might have said squirrel. I, I could have said squirrel, but it's a bird, not a squirrel. It's a bird, red and black bird. Well, it's a red bird with black stripes. That's what it is. All right, I'm gonna start counting it down, folks, because we're getting to the. We got a few more things, and we're, we got a. We, this is a speed round. Speed round. All right. So 15, 14, 13. Whoops. Uh, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one, bid end. I see you, Kim, at 31. Swirly bird. And I see Gia has a just in case of 35. And hi, Maria. And there's the bid end. So Gia, you get the bird for 32. Thank you so much. You're muted, Tiger. <laughs> uh, it I'm, I'm holding out till the end to make all these mistakes. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> so we have a set of treasure craft salt and peppers from San Diego, starting bid, five, starting off for $5. Oh, they're whales. They're whales. They're a sea world. <laughs> Marcy, sea world said she's, Marcy said she's giving Gia the bird. <laughs> <laughs> and I give you the whale. <laughs> no, there's that. That one has a little bit of a spot on top that looks like a fabrication error. It does not feel like a chip. And they both still have their corks. They're really cool, really cool sitting in this, uh, you know, what you might call it. That's Stand. supposed to be. And uh, they're in excellent shape. Got the little flowers on the bottom. So that's that's something if you collect whales or if you collect sea stuff or if you're just a SeaWorld fan or San Diego fan or if you like treasure craft or if you like salt and peppers. There yeah. are so many, so many options for collectors on these. I like it. And it looks they're like they're just leaping out of that rock. Yes, yes. They are just really cool. They look and they're, they're looking so cool. They're, they're happily alive and doing their thing. And they're in really good shape. I mean, even the corks are still there. A lot of times those, those disappear. Mm -hmm. A lot of times those are gone. So I'm going to go ahead and start the countdown. Okay. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good end. Tina is at eight dollars looking for a bit of nine dollars or more. Uh, Kim has a just in case of 15. So, Kim, you get them for $9. Thank you very much, Kim. All right. My next item are these cute little deer. They look like they're little stitched. I call these little stitched shakers. Focus, please. 
Oh my word. There we go. Um, I Before we start bidding on them, I will let you know that this deer right here has a repair on his ear. You can see right there, his ear has been repaired. So I'm going to start these at $6 for the two little stitched deer. The one has a repair. It's a good repair, but it is there. So starting these at $6, they are made in Japan. They do both have their original stoppers. These are just really fun, cute little fawn deer shakers. Okay, I see Paula is at $8. And I'm going to try to do this. Here we go. Um, Shannon is at 10 One little repair on this one fella's ear. It's a very good repair, but it is there. All right, I'm going to start counting these down, guys. We're going to speed around. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. You got little pink eyes. Little pink eyed, yellow and brown. Perfect for fall. Joanne has a $90 just in case. <laughs> okay, so um, let's see. So Shannon was at 10. And then uh, and then Shannon, Shannon came in at 15. So Joanne, you get them for $16. Joanne. All right, thank you so much. If I could find my buttons. <laughs> we have time for one more? Yeah. Perfect. Now this one I'm going out on a limb here because this is a la rather large and heavy piece, but it's a totally awesome piece. So I do ship from Arizona. If you like your Southwestern or Mexican stuff and you're in the, at the East Coast, keep that in mind. This is an owl mug. <gasps> now I know we have owl fans. And this is a made in Mexico. Okay. This is Mara. This is yes. really good. Yes, this is. That's why I kept it for last. Oh, this is really Look good. There's even, there's even purple in it and I'm still selling her. This is an this is a special mug. We're starting this at ten dollars. Wow! It is. These the are really good, guys. This is a special. Yes, this is a very special, special piece, and I did not get it cheap either. So, and it is an excellent shape. I have not found anything wrong. I have not found any chips or cracks. It is a beautiful piece. Now, if you like your owls, if you like Mara, if you like just beautiful things, special things, different things, you don't find those everywhere. And I would use that as a vase. I mean, you could put a lot of coffee in there. And they're, it's glaze on the <laughs> inside. And her mugs are yes. just so good to pick up and feel. I have one that I'm getting ready to list on eBay. They are amazing quality mugs. They're yes. so nice. Exactly. How tall is it, Tiger? It is, looks like, should be about seven inches. No, it's about six inches. You're close. And it's, and it is, I mean, it's a good quality mug. It's, that's why it's a little bit on the heavy side, because it's good quality. It's yeah. not cheap. And I so, would use it as a base. I would put some greenery in there and, yeah. and use it. But like I said, I mean, you can put a lot of coffee in there as well. But I mean, look at that face. He looks so cool. I love that. He is, he is Mr. Cool. Hey, I'm Mr. Cool. What yeah, do you, you Coffee, what do you want? flowers, I have it all. <laughs> what do you want to put inside me today? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Be a little saucy, little owl. I'm not commenting on that. <laughs> <laughs> Pam's of 41. Okay. Now let's go ahead and start the countdown. 
You know the one, you know the deal. Bid like you mean it. It's got purple. Yeah, and it's Tyler really Tyler, good. You know it's got purple. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. Mm. Yeah, Mara is very good. It's very good. Okay, I figured we would have some just in cases. All right. So, okay, there's the bid in. So, Punk Funk Barbie. Barbie put in a just in case of 52, but Joanne came in with a just in case of 66. So, Joanne, you get it for $53. Wow. Thank you very much. That was a great price, too. If you look those that up was. on eBay, they're, they're really, really good. Yeah. And it, you, when you have one, like I have that one that I, and I found it at the bins, believe it or not. And you put it in your hand and, oh my gosh, it just feels so wow. good to hold in your hand. All right. So my last item is, I actually have one more after this, but we'll, we'll see how, we'll see how well we can do with this. You will get the set of these. And let me type in start, bid, not bods, start bods, start bids at. Okay, I'm starting the bids at $18, and you will get the set. It is a, their redware. What does it say on the bottom? Um, L. Batling Sun Incorporated. I don't know, but you'll get the set. They are redware, you can see on the bottom, and it is a bear. Look at his, he is like, I don't even want to look. You're going to pour your cream out of me. I don't even want to watch. I'm going to turn my head all the way over. But it's a creamer, and you pour the cream out of its mouth. Blech. He's in great shape. And then we have the sugar bowl. Now, the sugar bowl, I will say, the B, it is, it is a sugar bowl, but it, it's shaped like it's he's on a honey pot. The B's wings are broken, so the, the wings are no longer there. But he, look how happy he is. I'm going to guard this honey. But you put your honey or your sugar on the inside. And, oh my gosh, we're not focusing. So we're starting. You'll get the set of these for $18. Just a fun, kitschy, little redware piece. Little figural bear creamer. The cold paint is still really good on there, even on his ears. Look at that face. Gosh, look at, skip my face out of the way so we can see the bear. There we go. And then this guy is just hugging this little honey pot, but that's where you put the sugar. So if there's not any interest in these, I will set them aside with a redware bear cream and sugar set. I'm not seeing any interest. It would be very adorable in a cabin. I just love this guy so much. Just because he's just like, I'm not going to watch. You can pour my cream. I'm going to turn my head to the side. All right. I am going to put them to the side. We'll put them aside. Tiger, did you have anything else? Yeah, I can find another item if you want. Okay, if yeah, we'll do one more that. thing each because I have one more thing behind me here. Okie dokie. No, I have choices, choices, choices. Choices, this plate, choices. Oh, let me get my thing off of here. There we go. This plate here, we're starting this at $5 because it's a German, Arzberg, Schumann. Ooh, it it's is a smaller a one. Nice. It is really pretty. It's seven inches. Here's the mark. It is just a beautiful little little uh, fruit scene with nuts. Nuts and fruits, you are what you eat. I love Which that articulated. 
And it's got the golden golden edge, and it seems to be in excellent shape. I don't see any cracks or any chips, and the gold is not rubbed off. A lot of times the gold is rubbed off these things. Yeah, it's very pretty. So if anybody would be interested, now is the time. Speak up or Speak type up. up. Or type up. <laughs> <laughs> If not, then we'll just move on. I sure have went, went with the Viking after all. <laughs> well, grab That's it. Okay. Oh, wait, no, you, Maria. Maria's at oh, five. But you can still show that Viking tiger. You can still I show do it. have that Viking, too, that little, little Viking bowl. That's It's not a very, very rare piece, but it's a beautiful piece. Maria wanted the plate at $5. If, if you Maria got the plate at $5. Okay. Bit end. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Maria. Okay, so my last item are these. These are adorable, guys. I'm starting the bids on these at $10. And they are these cute little elephant salt and pepper shakers. This one's a little boy. He's got his little pointy hat on and he is just trying his hardest to impress this little girl here. She's got little um, flowers in her hair. They do not have their stoppers. So you could put replacement stoppers in these if you wanted to, but I just kind of see them as figurines. I love that the little feet, they've got these little blue, little blue toes. Oh, I'm going to pull my comments up. Okay. I see you. Okay. I see Kim at 20. I just thought that they were so adorable. Just fun little elephant salt and pepper shakers. I like the colors. I thought that they were different with that kind of a coral and brown together. All right. I'm going to start counting these down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bid end. Bid end. Oh, I'm running out of space on my little cart here. All right, there's the bid end. All right, so I see that Arnell Carver had a just in case of 25. But Kim stopped, stopped in here with a just in case of 35. So Kim, you get them for, or on this page, 26. Kim Rogers. Thank you so much, Kim. All right, Tiger, did you want to do the Viking Bowl real quick since you had it? Sure, Maybe. if you want to do. Sure, we $5, can do that real quick. $5 for the little Viking Bowl. It's kind of greenish color. It's about five inches or diameter. The green that's picking up amber. Yeah, it's amber greenish. It's it's kind of in between, I would think. It looks more greenish here than it does on the screen. It is. It's a perfect for the candy corns, peanuts, and M&Ms. Yes, it this is. is now, I think... <laughs> I don't yes. think, no, I'm, I'm thinking something different. Well, you could use it as an ashtray, too, or you could mm -hmm. use it just, you know, for your rings or something. I your... bet you could put Dixie cups in there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm going to try that. I'm going to look for something. I'm going to take it home and put Dixie cups in it. So anybody Maybe. interested? Yes, we have some bids. Yeah, $7. Seven. Counting down. 15, 14, 13, 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Velma, you can. Did you just want the creamer or do you want the set? Because I don't really want to, I don't want to break them up. But yeah. So Gia has a just in case of 15 for the Viking Bull and there's the bid end. So Gia, you get it for $7. You didn't need that just in case. So, Velma, make sure that you let me know. Did you just want the creamer or do you want the set? Let me know, Velma Mendoza, and I will do that. I'll do that for 18. 
Um, Tiger, it was a good sale. You're Perfect. Thank you very much, Gia. Thank you very much, Misty, for inviting me to your sale. Well, I, I you know, it. you you are always such a, a great help. Ooh. You know, during the sales by doing the bid ins and stuff. So I really appreciate that. This was a lot of fun. Um, will we will do this again? I, I keep I just love having these group sales. I will say I will be having a sale with someone for the remainder of the month. Um, because I'm trying to get ready for this pop-up and it. So this does help me. It helps me get my shipping done in a little, a little bit quicker of a time. Um, I will be doing all of my invoicing tomorrow. So if you bought something from me yesterday and today, um, the, all the invoicing will be going out tomorrow. The set. Okay. Velma, I got you down for the set for $18. Thank you. Um, uh, so you'll be getting an invoice for me tomorrow. I will be doing all invoices tomorrow and shipping will be done on Friday morning and Saturday, depending on you on when you pay. But yeah, this was fun, Tiger. Tiger, you need to do this more often. Um, and yes. um, I can't remember who I'll be with next week. Ah, I, I have to look at my calendar. I haven't looked at my calendar at all today. Um, and do you have any, what do you have coming up? Anything you have something coming up soon? Tiger, Nothing you want to planned, know? but I'm I'm looking at doing a, a, a evening sale, maybe on uh, maybe on Wednesday because I don't want to interfere with your uh, with the rescue squad or the or even cats talk hey, on Monday to Tuesday. So I love to watch those. We and uh, you do it whenever it works best for you. That's, that's yeah, well, I watch those that's myself. You have to do it right, <laughs> but you're right. I mean, that's when you have to do it. You just have to do it when yeah. it when it fits into your schedule. And you know that's what if if that works better then that works better. Oh yeah, I'm not at the calendar. Shannon, remind me, Shannon, send me an email and remind me. But my gosh, yes, I will. That's so weird, Shannon, but I will. <laughs> so yeah, I was gonna look at the calendar beforehand and let you know for next week. But uh, I'm gonna do something. I'll, I'll hopefully. I mean, I'm still. I still. I'm still a very small channel, and uh, I'm hoping maybe I get a few more subscribers it'll be i don't know but with the youtube thing um yes. right now i'm yes, doing going tiger's channel i'm doing live but not live sales which are their life as i do them and film them but then they're not live when people get to watch them on the channel <laughs> yeah, guys really go and subscribe to tiger's channel he's so much fun to watch and oh thank he, you he has a really fun and genuine personality so go and make sure that you subscribe to him. He's also on Instagram as well. Yes. And, um, you know, at the Instagram, I keep saying I'm going to have a linen sale, but I am darn it. I'm going to sit down. I'm just, I am just going to sit down in front of my mountain of linens and I'm just going to blindly pull and we're going to, we need to do something because I got to, this is just ridiculous. So yeah. Yep. Marty said she just subscribed. So make sure that you guys go and subscribe to Tiger. His information is all down in the description below. Um, this was a lot of fun, and we will definitely be doing this again. And Thank I have Tiger much. on the Vintage Rescue Squad sometime soon as well. So <laughs> that would be fun, right? <laughs> Uh, thank right. you everybody thank you misty and thank you everybody who bought stuff and thank you everybody who subscribed to my channel and who was just who just came here to have fun i hope you all did that's the point yeah. yep it's a lot of fun these are a lot of fun all right guys yeah. thank you so much don't forget to send us an email with your information make sure i know that tiger doesn't have he probably has some people's information but make sure that you do send him your information and um he'll get his invoices out i'm sure he'll do it as soon as he can as well and yes. we appreciate you guys all have a wonderful wonderful weekend and we'll see you in the next one bye guys bye -bye. thank you